Thursday night, NBA is back here on TNT on a hot and humid 76 degree night in Houston, Texas. Better than 18,000 making their way into Toyota Center on opening night for the Rockets. NBA opening week 2019 is presented by Auto Trader. It's the Milwaukee Bucks facing the Houston Rockets. Westbrook trying to get it down on the hop for House, could not. Here comes Giannis. Pretty pass and Bledsoe with the first bucket for the Bucks. Houston has to get back on D. You know you're going to attract, or Anthony Cooper is going to attract the defense, but he's such a great passer. You have to get back. Giannis with a beautiful spin. Final seconds of the first. Corver from deep for three. So Kyle Corver with his very first three-point attempt. Knocks it down. Here is Giannis getting to the bucket going right at Chandler. He just stopped in the air and said, wait, let me measure the shot. Okay, I'll knock it down. But Giannis, one thing you know he's going to do, attack, attack, attack. Giannis up top over Tucker. Showing the touch from medium range. Yeah, well, if you're Tucker, that's exactly what you want to do. Mike D'Antoni getting a look at uh, McLemore, who's part of the rotation right now. And, well, Giannis Adetokounmpo able to knock it down. One of the statements made by the commissioner, he said, we're going to double down on engaging with people around the world, regardless of their governments, China, Indian, India, African countries. If the U.S. government asks us to stop working with the country, we would. Connaughton hits the three. Matt Connaughton has really improved his shot. I agree yep. with Harden that the narrative on him was the style of play, which Coach D'Antoni should be partly responsible for. And I agree with D'Antoni as we see Middleton knock another one down from the corner. Here's Giannis in the open court. Fighting yes. right, so it counts in the foul. Foul committed by Tucker. Strong move by Bledsoe, who picked up three early fouls. But Kumbo looking to put a move on Capella. Here's Matthews for three. Wesley Matthews signed as a free agent. He was with three teams last year. Dallas, the Knicks, Pacers. He's had big seasons for Portland and Dallas. The steal. Here's Harden chased by Brooke Lopez and rejected by Giannis. Giannis is tripped up by Capella. What a play by Giannis. If you want to be reminded of his athletic ability, <laughs> there you go. Way to get back. He doesn't give up on the play. Good job of Lopez trying to stay vertical, not reaching into the cookie jar, getting caught by the ref there. But how about West? Jerry West, Gail Goodrich. Giannis able to hit another three, his second three of the game. Harden. And James Harden now two for ten from the field. Giannis to the rim and it leads to a timeout. Giannis putting the rule on Sephiroshin. <laughs> he was so open. He got up there and was going to dunk it hard and just said, no, nah, I'm going to do this off and get back on defense. But Man, his one dribble attack, <laughs> just one step he can get to the floor. All right, Kristen, fourth quarter underway, and again, it is Giannis putting it home, making 22 points, nine rebounds, nine assists for Adepti Kumbo. House open for three. Kyle Corver just checked back in, handling that rebound. Oh, Giannis, made it a stuff. And now Tucker guarding Giannis who shoots and hits again from outside. He's had the touch. Here is Giannis on the spin. He is 11 for 17, 30 points, one assist away from a triple double. He's hit all four of his shot attempts here on the floor. He has sold it for three. Seven points. For Ilya Sova, Milwaukee head coach Mike Budenholzer, coach of the year for a second time. He won it in Atlanta. Tip is off by Capella, but a foul is called. The State Farm audio assist just a moment ago. And it is on Giannis and then Kumbo. He has fouled out. Number six.
Giannis unhappy with that. He did keep away from him on the top. Maybe they did collide up under. this crisp 49 degree Saturday afternoon in Milwaukee Wisconsin the heat is on today it's game two of the season features a pair of one and oh teams it's the first of three meetings this season between Miami and Milwaukee both teams won their openers with big fourth quarters and we hope you enjoy every bounce and basket of today's game right along with us on Fox Sports Sun that's Wes Matthews he's a three-point specialist here's the matchup Bam against Giannis out of the combo help from here Left Middleton free. And that's a dangerous way to play Chris Middleton. A corner jumper. Well, he getting no luck on their perimeter shots. Two of 11 to start the game. Giannis back to Middleton. Three in the air. Now he has eight points in a row for Milwaukee. Out of the Kumba scooping it up and scoring on Bam. That's the first score for Giannis out of the Kumba. Giannis, look out. Dragic threw it away, right to Middleton. Ahead for Giannis. Wow. They changed ends quickly. And just as quick, timeout for Eric Spolstra with a Bucks leading by seven. Brooke Lopez. That's the first score tonight for Lopez. Two minutes in on the second quarter. George Hill, the open triple. Olenek on a Kelly keeper. Had it blocked by Anatokounmpo. Giannis down the middle, and that's Matthews for three. Dragic comes over to double out of Takumbo, fires cross court for Korver's triple. A great screen right on the ball by George Hill to give Korver space to splash in his second three of the half. Oh, here is pass picked off by Giannis out of Takumbo. Yes. Remember, that man is six feet 11. He runs like a deer. Korver lets it fly. Foul. That's the second time Miami's fouled a three-point shooter who buried Giannis intercepted the hero lob. Here comes out of Takumbo racing with Bam and scoring easily. Everything he does, he makes it look easy. It's anything but. Giannis out of Takumbo now with 15 points, nine boards, eight assists. Yeah, so close to another triple double. Had one in the first game against Houston. He got a six-point game with a little more than 11 minutes left. And a defense that has ignited Miami. Matthews, a three. That's a dagger. Oh, that is just such a good double team they put on Anthony DeCumpo. But credit Matthews got into his vision by drifting to the corner. What a game it's turned out to be. Well, that's out of DeCumpo. His team needs him. He's there. Oh, Bam was held back. He relentlessly gets the loose ball. Oh, no. Giannis took it away. Out of Takumbo. And now Miami does take a timeout. Now, out of Takumbo, who's missed all four of his threes, came back with a steal and a stuff. He now has 19 points, 11 rebounds, one assist shy of a second straight triple-double. Oh, the long arm of the Greek freak. A six-point lead for the Bucs. We're coming back for the final 8-18. Wetzel on the move. He missed it, but it's tipped back in by Adetokounmpo, and he came right over the top of Olenek to do it. Back to Olenek, three on the way. Off target. Wetzel ahead for Giannis Adetokounmpo. Here he comes. Middleton. Oh, my. Olenek just flew into the seats, and Middleton buried it. Dragic gets it off. Missed it. Bucks are 3 of 20 from downtown in the second half. They threw it away. Oh, the pass. There was no angle into Adetokounmpo from Middleton. And the turnover gives it back to Miami with 20 seconds left in the game. In the hero. An excellent free throw shoot. Trapped in the backcourt. Gets it ahead to Winslow. He's got Bam with 13 seconds left. And Bam was fouled, and Dragic was under the basket, unguarded. The Heat didn't see that. He did it. He made them both. The Heat are ahead, 120 to 116. Six seconds left. Out of the combo. Oh, he got the bucket, and he drew the foul with 4.4 seconds left. He bounces it in. 
It's a one-point game with 4.4 seconds left. In the bam. He holds it. He gets fouled with 3.3 seconds to go. He missed it. And we get a whistle. Robin Lopez may have just fouled Justice Winslow trying to get the missed free throw rebound. He missed them both. Out at the Kumba with a rebound. Bucks take timeout with 2.4 seconds left. Middleton deep in the corner with two. Let's it go. Put in by out at the Kumbo at the buzzer to tie the game and send it to overtime. That's Dragic from downtown. And the rebound of Brooke Lopez. Here comes Giannis, full head of steam. Impossible to stop. So the Bucks take the lead, 123 to 121. All right, thanks a lot, Stephen A. A great sense of anticipation here tonight. As Halloween approaches, it's not Taco Tuesday, but it's the night where the Celtics host the Milwaukee Bucks. Welcome to NBA Courtside, presented by McDonald's from TD Garden in a rematch of last year's Eastern Conference semifinals between Giannis and Tenacumpo and the Milwaukee Bucks and the Boston Celtics, who have a new face in the lineup at point guard this year. Giannis spins on Tice, got it back and laid it in. See what Boston wants to do. Giannis, when you cut him off, likes to go to the spin with Rees and layups. That's what the league is, and Mr. Hunter DeCumpo gets right to the front of it. Led the league in points in the paint last year by doing things like that. The list of his accomplishments continues to grow, and was listening to him in an interview recently. He feels like he's only about 65, 70% where he will ultimately be. Mark Which is, is scary. He's two for 12 from three-point territory this year. So he's not had a consistent perimeter breakthrough yet, despite hours upon hours put in the gym as Bledsoe gets a jumper to go. 17-point game. Giannis went airborne. Woo! I mean, he was in the air so long, they should have put a movie on him. If they can get it in. Tenacumpo, a little bit of contact. That's a block. Wow. It's going to go against Marcus Smart. Seven on the shot clock for Bledsoe. Tenacumpo into the paint and one. Finishing over Tice on a sweet spin. Giannis on the baseline and the punch with the left. Tice trying to guard a Tenacumpo. Cross court find to Corver. Butter. Golly, how does that guy get from, you know, the catch to the shot so quickly. Hockey goes to Atena Kumpo to start the period. Kicks it out to Korver. Tough shot off the dribble, Kyle Korver. Well, if you saw our pregame show, you saw us speak with Marcus Smart about the chemistry on this team and how he couldn't stop that. Atena Kumpo off the lob. Good defense by Ojale on Middleton. Tice working against... Tenacumpo and he got all the way to the rim. Marcus Smart getting set to check back in. Heat check, Doris. That one a little bit strong. Yeah, they lost leads against the Miami Heat. Wow, I'm Smart. surprised that's a no call. I, I really am. They're all in as Tenacumpo gets the layup. And Giannis is going to pick up a technical foul. The Bucks conclude their brief two-game road trip tonight with the first of three games against the Orlando Magic. Milwaukee arrives at the Amway Center in Central Florida looking for some answers after losing Wednesday in Boston. The Bucks come out and Middleton opens for the lead. Yeah, great execution. There's a shot at the rim. That's something we've been waiting for. 4-3 Four, Bledsoe, yes! That helps. This game has a bit of a trap game. I don't wholeheartedly believe in that, but but if there is such a thing with Toronto coming into the five surf form tomorrow night. Brooke Lopez for three. The Bucks now two of six on triples. There's Ross, good defense that time. 
Dante. Great defense, Dante DiVincenzo on the contest. Let it fly, Dante. And then on the other end, he simply drains a three-pointer. Giannis, Good soft read. lay -in. Yeah, great read, Dante DiVincenzo. Little give-and-go basketball. That time, Aminu was called for the foul. Giannis, little flip. Great, again, that execution between Giannis and Bledsoe, thing of beauty. They are at town. They are hitting threes. Giannis attacking the paint to score. Jonathan Isaac for three. Orlando came out and led this game by 13 early. Then the Bucks took charge, going up by as many as 23 in the first half. Bledsoe in the paint again. Here you go, Bled. That's how you, that's how you, you stem the tide. Matthews out to defend Fournier. Throws him in to Lopez. Good defense. Active hands. Yes! And one! What a thing of beauty. What artistry. Now Fournier, Matthews up tight. Forcing a very difficult shot late on the timer. To the left, back to the right. And another foul, Vucevic. Stand up, sit down, fight, fight, fight. Giannis extends the body, the arms, scores, and will shoot a free throw. And to that point, the Bucks did not have a single fast break point after a defensive rebound against the Celtics the other night. That, that's a rare occurrence for a team that thrives in transition the way the Bucks have. Giannis, count that. He got tangled up with Terrence Ross, who will be charged with the foul. Giannis, yes. Offensive player can't use the forearm like that. Giannis! With even Chenzo with a deep three pointer. Wow. Jonathan Isaac tried to get it back. Giannis fouled. 7-11 remaining. You can still be the Grand Marcos. That's from eating too much French pastry. Nice, there you go. Okay, uh-huh. Now this isn't nice, but somebody in the truck just said the Grand Caboose. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's never easy in this league, but tonight you might say it's as easy as 1-2-3. The Bucks outscore Orlando 1-23 to 91, improving to three and two. The Bucks dropped by Pfizer Forum in Milwaukee for just one night to break up a long string of early season road games. It is the first of just three home games in November. And what a game it should be, an Eastern Conference Finals rematch with the NBA champion, Toronto Raptors. Lowry loses. Good defense by Bled, so he stayed with him. Giannis against Siakam. Count it, count, baby. Count it. You better grab him harder than that. You better grab Giannis out of the floor. He's got that long stride. Out of Indiana University, 6'8", long, always guards the most potent forward on the opposing team in terms of perimeters. Perimeter player. Giannis gets past Siakam, scoring with the left hand, softly and deftly. Talk about slither. Giannis got to be careful. He can't over, overreach, gamble too much against Siakam. They want to pick up that second one here early. Bledsoe, one, one. great move. Giannis from the weak side and one. That's what happens when you penetrate with purpose. Lopez shortens up. Yes. That's not easy body control to execute a guy that big, seven feet tall, 250 to 260 pounds with Brook Lopez showing us how it's done. George Hill for three. Giannis had a look at a three, drove and kicked it. He made another point as Giannis goes into the paint at the end of the quarter. He said, hit a foul, so the quarter is not quite open. Very often in a playoff series or the entire playoff run for a team, you'll have an X Factor. Van Vliet qualified. Brooke Lopez dead on from the top for three. He has five points. Shooter. There's your guy. Matt Thomas on catch and shoot jumpers last year with Valencia. His effective field goal percentage was an incredible 99%. 
on open catch and shoot jumpers. Means he must have to miss at one all season long. I was happy to go six out of ten in a sixth grade free throw shooting contest at a Chevy dealer in Los Angeles. 44 25. Giannis in the paint. Step back. Yes. Nice. I'd love to see Giannis. Work that aspect of his game, just just the confidence, pull it up for those short mid-range jump shots because he gets a lot of them. People are so worried about him taking it all the way into the paint. A push off the miss. Giannis, two-handed flying flush. He's just so unbelievable, Jeff, going at full speed. Quick close to the corner, a close to Lopez. The Bucks have to move the ball. They're doing it well. Kyle Carver for three. That's how you get a defense scrap. Like it starts with penetration. Now, all of a sudden, it's all about turning down a good shot for a great shot. Giannis. Boy, that looks like a playoff. Four bodies around him, yeah. and he still scores. He's 15. Still able to step through, create some space for himself to get that shot off. They've cut it in half from 26 to 13. Giannis powers through for two. Fred Van Vliet kicks it over to Ananobi. Virginia, has it. Virginia Capers was the aunt of James Capers, the sister of his dad. She was my acting coach in L.A. for a number of years. She was on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and a number of other shows. Veteran character actress. Shot clock reset. And a foul ball. Just foul is on Van Vliet. I don't know about you, partner, but I'm sitting on pins and needles over here. Nice job, Giannis. Clean block. Lowry can't believe it. He's jumping around, waving his hands, not in the play on this end. Giannis gets another rebound. Kyle Lowry looks like this. Oh, great pass, Giannis. And DiVincenzo finishes. The Bucks laid down to 10. Giannis has his 68th career 20, 10, and 5 game. He had his 67th last night. Norman Powell with a corner three. Well, Laurie penetrates right baseline. Weak side defense just totally fell asleep. Lost track of Norman Powell. Giannis put his mind to that. The three defenders crowd Giannis. Giannis. Now he has his 68 career. 25-10. Five assist game. Giannis thought about it. Beautifully done. He got to the rim. He got to shoot a three. He hits it. 32 for out of the Kumbo. Under two minutes, they create a wall for Lowry on his baseline drive. Giannis stuffs Marcus Hall. Tracks it down. Steal. Hill. Bledsoe. Giannis is there. Giannis with the push. Exclamation point. Well, they have given it a pretty good shot, but the Bucs have it better. Giannis for 36. The Wolves may have been shorthanded Saturday night in D.C., but that was A-OK -okay with Gorgie Jang, who made the most of just his third start in the two, last two-plus seasons. Minnesota will again need all G, and the rest of the team can give tonight as reigning NBA MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo and the mighty Milwaukee Bucks are in town. By the way, that win in Washington the first time in Timberwolves franchise history in which they've had six players make more, two or more yeah. from downtown in the same game. And you talk about Brook Lopez's yeah. troubles. He didn't look too bad on that. No, three. but he's, you know, he, he, the fact is, is that he's shooting 30.6% from outside the arc. pocket pass. Bledsoe connects on that three-point try. Just a, it was a matter of time. Bledsoe has been shooting 23% from outside the arc up until this game. Wiggins, no. Giannis comes up with the rebound. Coming into this game, the Bucks starters were 45 of 151. That's just under 30% as Giannis gets to the rim. And that's what Giannis can do. Antetokounmpo back on the floor, attacks Okogi. Gets his own miss, puts it up and in, a chance for an and one. Robin Lopez, who's added the three to his attack mode this year, 
unable to connect, but Giannis there for the putback. Wolves are also being worked on the glass, as you alluded to with the second chance points. 15-6 on the boards overall. And on to Takumpo, now up to eight points. Giannis, man! The control as he worked his way to the basket was impressive. And now Milwaukee starting to build a little bit of a lead back up again. Looking to push it further. Bledsoe front to Takumpo. Ryan Saunders wants a timeout. And, and this is something that if, you're, if you haven't watched Minnesota really play as Giannis does what Giannis does. He does the Euro step to the slam dunk at the rim. Just death defying. Napier, six seconds to shoot. We'll try the three. Antetokounmpo the rebound. He's got to hurry it up the floor. Giannis, oh my goodness, how quick he got down the floor. They're going to wipe it off, but I'm sure they're going to take another look. And Jordan Bell got banged up on the play and is still down on the deck. Giannis with a rebound. Buck's largest lead was 10. <laughs> and they get it back to 9. Giannis just stepping right around Trivion Graham. I mean, Jumping, look how far away he, he jumps outside the restricted area and throws that one down. It's going to be side out. They don't take the free throw line. Onto Takumpo, yes. Got to put a body on him, man. You just got to you just got to ride him out out of bounds. He's not that strong. Middleton out of the corner and he connects. Covington three, no. Numbers for Milwaukee and Giannis able to get it up the floor to Middleton. But multiple buck players leaking out that time. Giannis. Top of the key jumper's good. Yeah, you're gonna bait him and let him take that shot. That's the shot you want him to take. Well, Except 37 field goals made. Minnesota just 24. Timberwolves are only shooting 38%. Giannis another long two. Season high for Giannis is 36. He's got 29 right now. Middleton, no. Back tap by Bledsoe into the hands of Giannis. Corver. Corver's been doing that for an awfully long time. Unbelievable. Have those conversations with people, and you're really good at that, Dave. You're really good at interacting with all these coaches and, and, and personalities around the team, and that's why you're a good broadcaster. Well, I appreciate it. As we take a look at our starting five, hey, how about a late change? You see the name. Montrez Harrell will be at the center spot. Clippers will go small, but you keep Mr. Mayhem together with Lou Williams. So it'll be interesting to see how they stack up with the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis, oh, stymied at the cut by Montrez, but recovers and lays it in, and a timeout by Doc River. Now Giannis spins in on Beverly, draws a crowd, leaving Lopez open for a mid-range jump shot that is good. Giannis, inspired by the mismatch with Zubats, over the far side to Corver off the dribble, blocked into the hands of Lopez, followed ferociously by Giannis. Still all alone for three, you cannot leave him. I believe that's going to be a category. It's a leaping leaner by Montrez Harrell that the Clippers will be very good at as well when Paul George and Kawhi Leonard are out there, for sure. Giannis dared to shoot the three, takes the dare, and knocks it in. His fifth three of the season. Boy, how did that pass get through? Giannis, what a block. He hijacked it. Here's Middleton. Got it off over Patterson and knocked it down. Interesting to hear some of the intonations coming from the court. And the importance of communication. Bledsoe got into the paint. Bledsoe getting downhill. Great pass to Giannis. And a hammer finish for a Tenekumpo. And it's guys like that that make road trips, bus rides, plane rides fun. They do not shut up. <laughs> a Tenekumpo trying to keep the Clippers quiet with a three. Giannis with a nice hesitation move. Got into the lane. And drew the foul on Jermichael Green. Harold with the jumper. 
And Giannis with the board. Coming in hot. Kicks it out to Hill for three. Got it. Giannis behind the Robin Lopez screen. Now backs it out. Tees up the three ball. Got it. The Greek freak in freak mode right now. And the Bucks can say we did a very good job on him thus far. And the guy's got 27 points. The great scorers will find a way to get it done. Got to get a hand up on Kyle Korver. His second three of the night. Kyle Korver from deep. Joe pointed it out as Giannis with the move in the paint area. But Middleton with a spin. Giannis with a left hand flush. That's the midway point. Atenakumpo doesn't hesitate and he's feeling it. That three is wet tonight here at Staples Center. Going to work here against Jermichael Green. Nice pump fake and lefty finish with the scoop. Atenakumpo still percolating. He's got 34. The Bucs carry a four-game victory straight to Vivid Smart Home Arena in beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah, where Milwaukee has lost 17 straight games to the Jazz, believe it or not. The old big three last won here in 2001. Not every day that you can have two point guards that are playing at the level that George and Eric are, guys. Well, they combined for 10 made threes the other night against the Clippers. Speaking of a made three, Brooke Lopez from the corner. And Brooke kind of slow to get untracked himself shooting the basketball, but playing such incredible defense around the cup. It really doesn't matter. It's good to see him get going. He had six blocks on Wednesday. Man, and number one in the league in terms of six feet of in defensively, holding team under 40%. All really right, good. the Bucks are starting to look like the Bucks after that timeout. First Lopez and now Middleton for triples. Bledsoe's three is knocked out. Giannis. Middleton takes the shot from the corner this time and drains the three. Well, Middleton gets a bit of a hammer screen. Bradley flips it up. The Bucs get it again. Bledsoe, in the month of November, has played so very well. Just doing everything well. Giannis can't get that to drop. He'll be shooting. Fouled by Jeff Green. The Bucks down 19. Donovan Mitchell spin cycle. Giannis was there. Ah. Donovan Mitchell, he's cocking it back, trying to throw it down. Giannis right there to, to thwart that. Fifty-five, thirty-seven. Giannis has a field goal. I love that. Bled set him up. Giannis kind of, kind of close quartered, but that, that was Eric Bledsoe just trying to get his friend, his teammate, to see something go through the rim for the first time tonight. Bogdanovich misses. The Bucks prevail. Again, three back for Giannis. Wesley Matthews sealed, so he goes to Giannis. Three on the way. And he goes it. Why not? Let it go, young fella. Great job by Bledsoe. Not only digging out the ball, but then coming up with it and getting it to Chris Middleton. Nice. And finding Giannis on the other end. Here we go. Timeout taken by Quinn Snyder. Here we go, Jim. Giannis had two at the half. He has eight in the third quarter. The third on O'Neal and the third on the Jazz. Less than six and a half in the third quarter. Three on the way. Bledsoe. Here's that inside outside action. It's just more of a rhythm shot as opposed to pulling up and dribble, 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 dribble. And we talked about the two bucks mantras for offense and defense. They have a third one, and that is be us. And they are a bit more them in this third quarter than we saw in the first half because Giannis is being Giannis right now. And that's a good find by Bledsoe. Kind of, kind of an afterthought find. Got the jump hook. Got the jump hook. And 16 for Giannis. Boyan Bogdanovich. The third time he has attacked the rim in the quarter. And that's what makes him tough. Not just a catch and shoot guy. Giannis. Look at him battle. Look at him battle. Look at him. He makes the rim pay a little bit. Just for emphasis. Look at him battle. Unbelievable. 
Giannis gets the rebound off the missed free throw. He drives and will be shooting again. You see Kyle Korver bent over in that left corner. He gave up the body, rubbing the, the left side of his head. He just threw himself into the fray. 81-75. Donovan Mitchell. DiVincenzo has it. Ahead for Giannis. Out of the corner. Goal ten. Goal ten. Gotta, gotta be a goal ten. Gotta be a goal ten off the glass. Can't touch it after it hits the window. 14 seconds after the rebound to work. Giannis step back over Gobert. Oh, yeah. Saw that uh, about three years ago in New York City for a game winner. Oh, Giannis knew about it. Giannis calmly walks up the court and drains a three. Well, I'm running my mouth. Giannis is knocking down threes. Giannis blocks Mike Conley Jr. Sterling Brown can't score. Giannis runs the floor, puts it in. He has 30 with 10 rebounds. And don't look now. But the Bucks have their first lead of the night. Joe Ingles will inbound. Brooke Lopez will cover that. Robin Lopez back in the paint. 1.3 remaining. Uh -oh. Donovich for the victory. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Four hours ago, the Thunder down the Golden State Warriors, but tonight the attention turns to Eastern Conference supremacy as the Milwaukee Bucks make their only trip to Oklahoma City this season with the reigning MVP in Giannis Adetokounmpo. And there is Giannis knocking down his first shot. That was a deep two. Gallo aims, fires, no good. Paul down the floor, but Giannis with the size advantage caught it like a wide receiver and flushes it home. The, the spacing defense. has been excellent. As has the Thunder defense, but George Hill able to break it down on that scoop and score. They have been very consistent with the calls. As the Thunder will call timeout as the Bucks have surged ahead again. And now the last seven to the Thunder. Giannis, oh, the help defense from Ferguson. Came over to block the shot. Uh, that was a couple of double helps on that play. Bledsoe gets it off. And this time Giannis uses the stretch dunk. Giannis, boy, he was twirling out of control. And that'll be a foul on Diallo. Little indecision there. He, he doesn't want to shoot the three. He will if you give him space. And that's when it gets dangerous. Bledsoe, little give and go action with... Giannis and a series of moves, and you can see the emotion there from Giannis, who had a frustrating first half. Have a mismatch. Giannis pulling his way down low. Boy, he uses his force there, brute force. Gallinari let that one leak off to the right. Giannis, the deep catch. Double team comes. Now it's up to Gallinari. Giannis spins. Oh, the reverse layup. Got it to go, and another and one possibility for Milwaukee. Sure, lowers the head, kicks out. Gallinari's got to let it fly for three. Off target. Ledso, transition three, rattles in. Giannis passes back out to the printer. Got it back. Uses those long strides. And that's what you don't want to happen. Milwaukee runs the exact same play, different grouping. And Giannis gets bumped. And that'll be a foul, but is it on the floor or is it on the putback? SGA. This fires. Keeps it alive underneath. Well, Giannis sitting at 24 points. Now attacks hard. You just can't slow it down. Make it 26. As Giannis. Boy, it hits the rim three times before dropping in. And for Giannis, that is just his second three attempted on the night, and he's knocked them both down. Gallo in the post goes to the spin cycle. Beautiful move by Gallinari. He's just spun around Brown so fast that Giannis didn't even have time to, to get over and help out. Giannis, boy, the strides. He, he looks like a gazelle out there. Paul trying to get by Giannis, but lost the handle. Giannis got it back, and the authoritative slam. 
Boy, that is a big sequence. The Thunder off that missed shot, down by five. Had momentum, had the basketball. Turned it over, and Giannis turns it into an easy slam. He sprained his ankle back in October after missing eight straight games with that ankle injury. Miles Turner will play tonight against Milwaukee. And who will the Pacers see? The defending MVP, Giannis Adetokounmpo. Pacers of the Bucks on the way. Vincenzo averaging six per game. This is another team like Houston that shoots it 40 plus times from behind the arc. I think they shoot it like 41 times, 41 threes a game. Wow. One he had banked after he was walled off. The Sabonis had done all he could there against Adetta Kumbo. Seventh year out of Greece. Three-time All-Star, the reigning MVP. Milwaukee will be back here in February, and that's Matthews. Giannis has it. Four seconds against Sampson. A pull-up three. He had a running start, and you can't crowd it. Because if you crowd Giannis, he has the ability to go around you. Not much Jakar could do on that one. Giannis, basket and a foul. McDermott got it. He gets there. He is so long that once he kind of uncoils, it's hard to keep the ball from getting in the basket here. He beats Samson, and McDermott comes. And you see, he's still towering over everybody. Folks, this guy is 6'11". He's just dribbling it like a guard. So he still has the ball above the head of the 6'7". McDermott as he's going down. Oh, Giannis down the lane. There is not much you can do when Giannis Adetokounmpo makes his mind up like that. Nice play as they force Giannis into the turnover. And then Giannis, the other way, just hammers it into the ground. Well, you know, Giannis, we talked about it. He gets a lot of things. Look, look where everybody is. So he has this to himself. And can they help get there in time? That's the problem. You see, Goga comes, but he comes too late. Goga thought he might dunk right hand, And he just dunks it with his left hand, and Goga's not prepared for that. But that's what you have. Last year's MVP has a variety of ways of getting the ball in the basket. The Pacers help came, but not in time. Matthews saw him do that a number of times last year. Pulls that arrow out. Oh, boy. 12 points now for Adetta Kupo in a 13-point Milwaukee league. Oh, my goodness. Got a chance again, but it's Adetta Kumbo with a left hand. Get by Miles Turner as Giannis is able to get it in with a dunk left hand. Giannis got it. Slipped it inside and underneath Sabonis. Now Adetta Kumbo for three. He's hit a pair of them tonight. He has 19. So this is better for the Pacers. Until he gets to the basket. Lopez drops it in. Well, that was a problem, but I, as long as you had some speed on Giannis, you, you were okay with uh, when I look at it in Holiday was on. Partner, anybody who's going to play that position, that's what they have to be good at. It's forcing that defense to react. And this is what this guy has become good at after he made maybe a couple in his first seven years in the NBA. Listen, you guys are talking about sleep. You get a chance to play in an NBA game, and, you, and, and, and you're worried about sleep? Are you kidding me? You didn't get, to get any sleep to get here and get to this game. Giannis got it back. He'll try another three. 26 for Adetta Kumpo. And a 23-point advantage. Monday night rematch game is on tap for the Bucks tonight. They will host the Utah Jazz, the last team to beat Milwaukee. The Bucks' only loss in their last 12 games. <laughs> Mike Conley coughed it up. The Bucks take it. Giannis inside for the flush. It's so interesting.
interesting. Even at halftime, I mean, the one time we saw Giannis have a moment in OKC, but he said that wasn't his game. And as he takes it to the hole there, he said, hey, I apologize for that. That's not usually who I am. He says Coach Bud doesn't come into the locker room and yell. They're very calm. That's a testament to all the veterans on this team, too. Inside. Giannis. Nine points. Giannis in the paint. Finger roll. He has 11 to the post and Giannis. He spins and dunks on Jeff Green. 13 for out of the Kumbo. Jeff Green turned it over and another turnover there. And one. Mean bug. Tony Bradley the foul. His third. 18 for Giannis. 115 remaining in the first half. Giannis drive and score. Mike Conley, 32 years old, 13th NBA season. A grizzled veteran, if you will, having played at Memphis. Giannis with the jump shot. Halfway down for Bogdanovich. He didn't stay down. Giannis for three. Giannis! Five threes in the third quarter, four by Matthews. Giannis! Walks into that one, his elbow's just fine, thank you. Joe Ingles is just the opposite. He is not bashful. Ingles, a 30% three-point shooter. Yeah, and he actually hasn't been shooting the three-ball well. Yes! Is a promise with 27 points. Well, just got to keep playing a little more center field on that. Better on that weak side, get close to those shooters. Why not? Has scored his number. What a great move. 36 for out of the Kumbo. One handed rebound by Yams. Still counts. Finds Ursan. Great touch. And you can tell Giannis, we want to go to him. Giannis kicks it out. Connaughton. Yes! Yes! His third triple tonight. Giannis out of the combo flushes his way to 44. Giannis has 46 points. Let's go to Giannis. Giannis again. Giannis! Has 48 and 13 rebounds. Donovan Mitchell, 14 boards for out of the Kumbo. Giannis. He's knocked down on a foul. That's it. The Bucks prevail. 122, 118. They score 20 more points than Utah typically allows. The best defense in the league. With Thanksgiving ahead tomorrow, the Bucks and their fans will be very grateful tonight for the return of Chris Middleton. He is back in time for a rematch game with Atlanta at Bicer Forum in Milwaukee. Lopez a little strong with the three. Giannis the rebound, and he finds Wesley Matthews. Wesley Matthews the rebound, and here comes Milwaukee. Out of the Kumbo, dances and dunks. That's beautiful. Damian Jones, Giannis knocked it away. Parker cleans Jabari it up. Parker. Jabari Parker has scored all eight for Atlanta. You know, just because everybody wasn't aware of him getting 50 doesn't mean he was fired. That's true. That means they weren't paying attention. Carter defends Giannis. At least he slapped at the ball. Giannis powers through to score. He has six. It's Carter at the top. Defending Giannis again. Can you imagine? A 42-year-old mentally trying to stop that out of the Kumbo powers it through. Carver for three. Giannis against Parker. Ten points for out of the Kumbo. Look, I wasn't there for the conversation today, but you're right. Ah! We were there the other day when he said that nice finish down low. 12 for Giannis. Giannis! 
He can get through any amount of wind. Giannis has 16. Put a few things together on a given night to look like this. Giannis rolls a three down. Trey Young can't hit that three. Giannis touch controls the rebound. Goes to the left hand, drives. It's an end run for out of the Kubo. Here's Evan Turner behind the back. And it stays on this end with seven on the timer. Alan Kraft runs into the Bucks defense. Giannis working against Bembry again. There's the crowd that he draws. Four Atlanta defenders. Out of the Kumbo has 25 points. Giannis follows his own three-point miss for a three-point play. Goes to Giannis. Back to Middleton this time. He shoots it. Partner with a pass fake, drives, knocked out, Giannis blocks it. The Bucks return to five-serve form with a 10-game victory streak, their longest since the 1985-86 season. They will attempt to extend it to 11, which last happened during the 84-85 campaign. Standing in the way tonight, the visiting Charlotte Hornets. Giannis. That's how he enters the scorebook tonight in game 20. It's a bit odd for me to be watching the Hornets without Kemba Walker, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and you're absolutely right. And, and, and I think that's reflected in their, their turnover percentage. Always one of the best in the league. Ranked one or two the past four or five years. This year, down in the bottom half of the league. Nick oh. Batum saves it for Giannis. He pushes Zeller out of the way. Giannis, mean mugs. The Hornets. I just can't say it enough on Devontae Graham. He gets you when you just fall asleep just for a moment. Off a of ball screen. Uh-oh. Giannis stays with the bump by Marvin Williams. Giannis leads the NBA in and one opportunities, and he's going to the line here. Dominique Wilkins was here this week, and he said Giannis doesn't do what everybody else in the league doesn't do. I, I, I'm tangling myself up here. He's going and getting his own misses is what yeah. he's doing. Giannis, for three. Yes! No hesitation, three points. That's he nice. has 13. You mentioned the teal uniforms. That takes me back to the beginning of the Charlotte franchise. And Robin Lopez misses the hook. Giannis lays it in. Alexander Julian, the designer, was the person who came up with the teal huh? color. Giannis nice. with a turnaround over P.J. Washington. 17 points for Ada Kumbo, and he has played just 11 minutes. Giannis with a pass fake. Matthews cleared it out, and Giannis drives to score. It's another and one. My goodness. I mean, for Giannis, <laughs> when he hits three or four three corners, you can expect, you know, 40 points are in the neighborhood there of a war. Oh! Well, no! Tea time. Times three. Get that boy a trumpet. Block shot, Robin Lopez. Lopez with three triples. That's the most he's ever made in a game. Giannis lays it in 21 points with 5.45 remaining in the second quarter. That is the 19th time in 20 games out of the Kumbo has scored 20 or more. The only exception, game one against Cleveland when he had 14. Devontae Graham 19, Giannis had 19 with a lot of time remaining in the second quarter. It is his third and one possibility tonight. Now three on the way, Wesley Matthews, Milwaukee. 10 of 19 behind the arc at this point. When it's all said and done and you really analyze what's happening with the Bucks, you see this every night, but you also realize the incredible quality of the defense of this Milwaukee Bucks team. Derek Lewis, Brian Forte, and Ray Acosta are the third team on the floor tonight as assigned by the NBA. A double team on Giannis to open the game. Cross court, Middleton, a three. Warm it up, Chris. Oh, ah. uh, he makes up for the two free throws. Well, and that's what the great ones do. Chris Middleton. Welcome back, counter. Giannis to the rack after the three-point play by Randall. Giannis felt that, sensed it, watched it, and executed it. Little shovel pass. Giannis is at the rim. Corbett. 
Giannis made his NBA debut against the Knicks October 30th of 2013. He scored 10 points. Why don't you? Giannis got free. And now he has to deal with Julius Randle. He can deal with it. Wow. He went mano y mano on that matchup. Giannis out of the Kumbo, steps back, shoots over Taj Gibson. Count it. His second triple tonight. Okay, he has made three again. Giannis. Knox misses the three. Giannis. Clenching his teeth. Driving. Throwing it up. In the net. That's a goal. It's going to be a goal, Ken. They're going to come at you with that one every time. You know that, right? I know. I'll work on it. <laughs> She's playing coy. Yeah, she can make those. Giannis has 29. Don't fall for it. Good night's work. Little bit fast down deep to the Greek Greek, must have tapped it in. Need a few rebounds tonight from both Speed and Bruce. Out of bounds play, just a lob to Giannis for a dunk. Giannis nearly lost it in the lane. Max outside, clock at seven. You try a three and it's through. That'll hurt you. Giannis with a, another dunk. He leads the league as we told you earlier. Away it comes to Christian Wood. Tried to lay it off for Marquise Morris. The Bucks take it away. They got numbers. Giannis to the rim, flips it up, fills it up. You got to be careful because turnovers will cause you to lose control of the pace. Marquis for the drive shot is blocked by Adetokounmpo. Middleton gets it back from Giannis, bounces it back. Giannis battles inside and scores. Did he not walk there? Giannis against Andre. I like the I like, pedal. I like the way he's doing that. Sort of inviting that shot with a hand up. He knocked it down so big. Adetokounmpo with a jab step, and now a jumper, and it stays in. Blake against Giannis, Andre with a screen. Blake to the basket. Locked by Giannis. Bledsoe on the other end, lays it up, lays it in. Let's go inside to Giannis for a score. Giannis trying to back in. Puts his shoulder into Blake. Gets to the basket and scores. This is going to be another Blake foul. 77-68. Giannis from way behind the long line. Lenzo shoves it inside out of the Kumbo. And Giannis draws the foul on the missed shot. Pistons with still seven minutes to go. Giannis for three. Loves that topside triple. Now has 35. He's four for eight from behind the long line. Ten six. The Clippers lead the box. Giannis in the post. Tries to get a foul on Harkless and then leans in for the finger roll. Wow. That's so beautifully executed. Giannis works inside for the flush from George Hill. Giannis better be careful with the off arm against Beverly. He had it out, didn't he? He finds nice. Brooke Lopez. Well done. Out of the Kumbo. Nice. Against Harkless and one. Three point play completed. Giannis joins Chris Middleton with 10 points. Paul George. Paul George. Some of that aggressiveness. <laughs> Expect to see more up from Paul George. Hey, there you go. He's still driving. Baby, that's back at you. Yes, indeed. Oh, yeah. Mm. 17 points. Here he comes. Got us. This crowd is buzzing. And then some. Oh, yeah. Here we go. He's ready for one. Got us. Second half. Got us backing in against Kawhi. Got us out of the combo. Got us 12 points in the third quarter, 22 in the game. Still over five minutes remaining in the period. Block. 
Colonel, right to Ilya Sova. He finds Connaughton. It was Dante with the back tap. Beautiful, beautiful basketball. Connaughton, Giannis, Ilya Sova. Giannis flush from Middleton. Get him going right away. 25 points. Brennan Brown getting the call from Mike Bertenholzer. Giannis has 27 on a hammer. This has been incredible. Happy birthday to, to you. you. Giannis Antetokounmpo, 27 points, 11 rebounds on his 25th birthday, and a resounding victory over the third best team in the Western Conference. down Main Street, plays it in. Chris Middleton, a mid-range make. Bledsoe reverse, beautifully done. Over eight points a game in the paint for Eric Bledsoe, a premier driver. To the post, Giannis. Ball loose, picked up by Giannis. Carter Williams has been playing off guard and small forward. For Orlando, not as much point guard. Ilya Sova hits the three-pointer. They're playing four on five right now. Bamba's trying to run the floor. Giannis inside, beautifully done. Bamba was chasing futilely. Gordon tries a dump down pass, picked off by Giannis. Giannis goes to the left hand, drives, kicks it back, open shooter. Brooke Lopez, three-pointer. DJ Augustine misses from distance. Giannis right back to the paint. Takes the Euro dunks. You can do that too. Giannis, as Giannis works in the paint, gets it back. Giannis again. 13 points for out of the Kumbo. Giannis could do it from the perimeter and right under the basket. And he does this so well. He kicks to the corner as well as anyone in this league. Giannis wide open for three. Yes! Great dance. All you want, young man. Matthews. He could fly on this one. So can Giannis. Oh, that's beautiful. Teamwork. Giannis. Giannis. Giannis has 23. Giannis for three. Yes, and second in four attempts, 26 points with 12 rebounds. They have it down to 13, a seven nothing run. Steven Chenzo puts a hammer to that with a three. Giannis finds Middleton, relatively easy bucket, 14 for Chris. Giannis, got it. Giannis. 28 points for Adetokounmpo. Not many free throws by the Bucks tonight, just 12, and they've made, oh, just half of them. Giannis blocks. Giannis with the hammer. This team is what, 6 and 0 when he drops 20 or more. When he gets a dub, they usually win, so got to be concerned with that. Oh, Giannis powers in, gets an and one. He coaxes that one through, completing the three-point play. Okay, one for one with the Panama, and I like that. 8-15 remaining in the first. Two-handed, soft lay-in for Adetokounmpo. Chris Middleton gives it up to Giannis in the post. Couple of bounces, and a flush. How about that against Solomon Hill? There's the first step, now just split and jump. That's not a travel. You take that step, 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 and cover. Ground, about 20 feet. He always gets to the rim with an active commission. Giannis out of the Kumbo. Nine minutes remaining in the second quarter. Eric Bledsoe kicks it out. Giannis out of the Kumbo in Memphis. Giannis puts up the three. Yes, right through. There's the one. If you don't see it succeed at first, try, try, try again. Underneath. Wesley Matthews. <laughs> oh, I think you're right on yeah, that. I, I think so, too. Giannis well, and Giannis mean mugs big time here in Memphis. Giannis spins and a soft touch as he went to the rim against Bruno. Giannis sees the three-man defensive wall. Gets it back, right-handed hammer. Middle 
Hamilton back to Giannis. That's a little bit of a stare down, but that's usually not enough to get a technical foul. Oh, he guess that was directed at Leon Wood. Giannis. Got a little excited going at Jared Jackson. And Excite he hits that. the three. Jaron Jackson had to watch it. Excite that. Three-pointer Giannis, 34 points with 10 rebounds. All about the butt right now, baby. He keeps going, and <laughs> it's another and-one situation. And knock it down, free throw to boot. They win for the 17th straight time. Giannis will take this. Giannis will make this. His overall three-point percentage, 32 and a half percent. You can live with that, and you can certainly live with what he does in the restricted area. Getting him started early, as Marcus said, Chris Middleton. Giannis from Middleton. Jetty Osmond claiming he was knocked to the deck by Middleton. Giannis, left-handed, soft dunk, nine points. Not, not the end-all, be-all for Giannis, but I think it does get him to the mindset of a good, good rotation, good release. Just seems to, he seems to shoot it better when he does that. Corber for three. Giannis. And one. A quick second bounce. Like this, though. He short arms the steal and long arms the dunk. Giannis. Balls it in, and scores. Well, you can throw a soft pass up there, and he'll just reach out and get it. Brooke Lopez. Downtown straight away. Deep and center, right there. There he is. Yep. Leads to him. Shot of the Kumbo. Giannis gets it right back. He is two for five. 20 points for Anadik Kumbo. Giannis. Giannis. Just right on the edge of yeah, the restricted yeah, yeah. area. Beautiful job, though. Even Chenzo a steal. He goes to Giannis. Back to Dante. Good unselfish play by Giannis. Could have tried to take and maneuver his way around Kevin Love. So beautifully done, Giannis. 24 points. Giannis will take this. Giannis will make this. His overall three-point percentage, 32 and a half percent. You can live with that, and you can certainly live with what he does in the restricted area. Getting him started early, as Marcus said, Chris Middleton. Giannis from Middleton. Jetty Osmond claiming he was knocked to the deck by Middleton. Giannis, left-handed, soft dunk, nine points. Not, not the end-all, be-all for Giannis, but I think it does get him to the mindset of a good, good rotation, good release. Just seems to, he seems to shoot it better when he does that. Corber for three. Giannis. And one. A quick second bounce. Like this, though. He short arms the steal and long arms the dunk. Giannis. Balls it in and scores. Well, you can throw a soft pass up there and he'll just reach out and get it. Brooke Lopez. Downtown straight away. Deep and center right there. there. He is. Yep. Leads to him. Shot of the Kumbo. Giannis gets it right back. He is two for five. 20 points for Anadik Kumbo. Giannis. Giannis. Just right on the edge of the restricted area. Beautiful job, though. Even Chenzo a steal. He goes to Giannis. Back to Dante. Good unselfish play by Giannis. Could have tried to take and maneuver his way around Kevin Love. So beautifully done, Giannis. 24 points. You know, 12 or 13 guys that were traveling showed up for that. Yeah, they always do. Giannis. From Brooke Lopez. Optional shoot around 27 for out of the Kumbo. Looked like a little Villanova practice down there with Brunson and DiVincenzo going at it. And one for Zingas. Gets a piece of Giannis. Giannis ahead for DiVincenzo. 
Here comes Giannis. Was injured. Three pointer Giannis. I just love that play. They, they've done that all season long. Giannis sneaking in from the corner along the baseline to get a deuce out of that. Excellent defense. Kyle Corbin. Great D by Kyle. He's just that scouting report. He's got to get him off the three point line. Hey! He gets it anyway. <laughs> Delon Wright. He has toiled in Toronto and Memphis before Dallas. Out of the Kubo! Well, I guess they could just part the C for him. Their ball from short distance. Giannis again. I mean, he's driving down Wisconsin Avenue at 3 in the morning. There's nobody on it. Tim Hardaway Jr. Out of the Kumbo. He's putting up Shaq like numbers. It's, it's unique. They don't call him the Greek freak, and I mean that. It's, he's different. Even those go in. Porzingis blocked Giannis. Giannis. See you later. <laughs> Everybody in the building stood up. That's sharp. Corber from Giannis. Count it, Giannis, and one. And Corber, yes. 14 for Corber. Giannis got around Porzingis. 39 points. 105-92. Giannis. Fouled by Porzingis. 42 points. 14 rebounds. Yes, has 44. That's about as quick a bucket as you could possibly get. Yes, again. That took 3.9 seconds. Yes, oh, my goodness, and one. Harvard. What a game! What an effort! What a victory streak! Rondo inbound is the current NBA Western Conference Player of the Week, 62nd in his career. From behind, Andre Kumpo knocked it away. The length of Andre Takumpo with his first block shot of the evening. Andre Takumpo, another three, and this is good. Number 45 on the year. And Jenzo Wanjin from this, and picked up by Giannis Andre Takumpo. Shot clock at five. Hill, the top three-point shooter in the league. Did you see all the yellow jerseys around Giannis? Rondo outside with a three, invigorated is what we were told he is playing with right now from Coach Frank Vogel inside with a nice drive and getting the two the other way. Here are the full head of steam, the twisting and turning out of the Kumbo. The biggest lead for Milwaukee. Giannis! Timeout LA. Giannis from three. What? Are you kidding me? I mean, that was from deep. That was five and nine. Too easy. And you can't flop against the reigning MVP. That is a six of ten. There's a Matthews three. Another three for Milwaukee. On to Takumbo. Shake his hand. Rattles in a triple. Now on to Takumbo and the smaller. Tavius Caldwell puts up the three. What? Another one. Oh, my goodness. Middleton over the ball. Takumbo, nice play, good pass. Lopez, twins in the game, on to Takumbo, scooping it up, but off and a foul. On to Takumbo. Three, good! Wow. wow. Lopez, three, missed it all. Giannis there, shot clock at seven. Great fake by Middleton! A sleight of hand, a beautiful fake. On to Takumbo, puts it down. 34 right there for Antetokounmpo, and Milwaukee wins it by seven. They go to 25 and four. Giannis has 50 made threes last season, 52, which is his career high. You'll blow that away. Giannis working with Middleton, gets it to the middle, kicks it back to Chris for three. Yes, sir. That was just a beautiful play, though, by Giannis to draw two down low like that. 
Brooke Lopez impresses all of us all the time. That is his fourth three tonight. Three-pointer, DiVincenzo, it hit the far side of the rim and went right down and through. Giannis has five points, six rebounds, and five assists. He finds corner. You can make it six assists. Now. Giannis is fouled. Count it. Great defense leading to that. George Hill, a hammer. Giannis against Dotson. Not much of a contest when he got him in the spin cycle. George Hill for three. That is so symbolic of this first half. Alfred Payton, Tyus Gibson, Brooke Lopez. And we just talked about it. One of the best defenders in that paint area showing it. Giannis wanted to foul. New York three and four since Mike Miller took over. Monster 143 point outing against Atlanta. 13 for out of the Kumbo. DiVincenzo, 13 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists for out of the Kumbo. And then he does that. That was impressive. Milwaukee has the NBA's best record. They just improved on it. 26 and 4. On when a guy like Jabari Parker with the Atlanta Hawks and Giannis matched up. Block shot, DiVincenzo, Giannis. Let's him go. Indiana waited on the Bucks in Milwaukee last night. Milwaukee maybe shaking off a lack of winks overnight. But Lopez, yes, for the flush. Corbett going down, finds Pat Connaughton. Giannis still battling. Giannis, yes. He got tired of hanging around and just hammers it. Edmund Sumner, the rebound, goes in on DiVincenzo. See you later. Giannis out of the Kumbo. Robin Lopez holds off Brogdon, gets it from Giannis for the hammer. As the season unfolds, you're going to have to pay attention and learn Indiana, as they are going to have to learn how to defend this. That was almost a heartbreak bounce. That would have been what we call a great miss if it went in. George Hill for three. Giannis, George Hill. I don't know if I'd say in rhythm because he had to go down and haul that pass in, but he got back to rhythm quickly and drains the three. Giannis off the glass. This has a dozen. T.J. Warren inside blocked by Giannis. Not they do the Chenzo. Bucks are in the top of the list. Giannis with a 90% effective field goal percentage against the Knicks last night. 90% effective field goal. He was 8 for 10 in raw numbers from the field. There it is, Giannis. His 52nd three-pointer made that ties his output from last season. The Bucks, they really do in that last contest as well. They have a lot to do. Man, oh, oh. Lopez. Way outside. He was at the hash mark. Hits the three and has 12. Yes. Matthews four times tonight. Giannis spins Brogdon into the deck. Lopez. Brooke looks like you against Connecticut. I can only dream. Giannis has 18 points. Let's go up and beautifully hammered down. A perfectly timed alley oop. Brooke Lopez inside. That was fairly easy for him. Well, too easy again. Yeah. Boy, the Bucks are eating up what has been a better defense lately. Valentine misses the three, comes out long. About 17 feet out. Giannis got it. Giannis lays it in. Let's go. Giannis. Yes. 12 points for out of the Kumbo. Well, they worked it the other way in the first half. Now, Adedekumbo finds Bledsoe at the basket. From the corner of three, Rook Lopez, that brings a timeout taken by Jim Boylan. Yes! Adedekumbo, I guess. How do you lose track of this guy? How do you lose track of this guy coming down the middle of the lane? My goodness. It takes off uh, just inside the free throw line, and Zach Levine, <laughs> for a moment, Thought about trying to challenge at the rim. There it is. Number 53, a season high for Giannis. The Bucks have won the last eight 
which is the longest victory streak against Chicago in the 52-year history of this rivalry, and he does it again on a reverse. This Milwaukee Bucks team, 30 and five. Nine straight against the Bulls, 123-102. We wish you a happy new year. The Bucks will open 2020 hosting the Minnesota Timberwolves with the goal of sweeping their two-game season series. Three from the corner, this back, Keelan Martin. DiVincenzo back to out of the two ball. That one isn't going to bounce off. Too strong on a three, Jared Culver. Now it's wearing banana color. Zoom ones tonight, and he zooms to the basket for an and one. Jared Culver holds off Bledsoe, finds Gorky Jane, blocked by Brooke Lopez. Giannis, contact, count it. And one, Giannis back at the line. Brook inside, and one. Right. Noel in the paint, he gets the bounce. My guess is 50, 50, 90 may not have anybody in that spot. Giannis! And with that three-pointer made, that is tied now for 12 with Mo Williams. Giannis. Yes. Well, he's not happy now. He didn't like what happened from behind that time. And he serves notice. And a foul. Plus two points for Giannis. Unbelievable. He can go anywhere. Anytime he wants, 17 for Giannis. Giannis walks into one. Yes! He is two for three on triples and has 20 points and 11 rebounds. Excellent defense in the restricted area. As we denied Giannis plus right-handed hammer. As Reed's playing in just his fourth NBA game. Uh -oh. As Reed uh -oh. goes down, the shot goes down for Giannis. And Nas Reed is done. Nas riding that horse to the Old Town Road. <laughs> He's trying to find that saddle <laughs> to, get, to get to the Old Town Road <laughs> on that possession. Giannis. He just powers Garfi Chang to the rim. 27 points. Giannis, 29 points. Good, good execution, cross screen, deep, deep post up. You give it to Giannis in the paint. You'll get kind of mano y mano and just take the hit and, 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 and stay up. You try to help the official make the call on the play. Nice job. Oh, yeah, Pat Connaughton for three from Giannis. Giannis for three. 32 points, 16 rebounds for out of the combo. This would be the ninth decided by single digits. And it is single digits. Just two digits. 106, 104. Credit Minnesota for hanging around tonight to open 2020. The Bucks sweep the two-game series with the Timberwolves. Even Chenzo back to out of the combo. That one isn't going to bounce off. Now it's wearing banana. Kind of zoom ones tonight, and he zooms to the basket for an and one. Giannis, contact, count it. And one. Giannis back at the line. Brook inside, and one. Giannis. Giannis. Yes. Oh, he's not happy now. He didn't like what happened from behind that time. And a foul. Plus two points for Giannis. Unbelievable. He can go anywhere, anytime he wants. 17 for Giannis. Giannis walks into one. Yes! He is two for three on triples and has 20 points. As Reed denied Giannis plus right-handed hammer. 
Martin contributed. Uh-oh. As Reed Uh-oh. goes down, the shot goes down for Yanis. And Nas Reed is done. Giannis. He just powers Garfield Jane to the rim. 27 points. Giannis. 29 points. You get kind of mano y mano and just take the hit and stay up. Try to help the official make the call on the play. Nice job. Oh, yeah. Pat Connaughton for three from Giannis. Giannis for three. 32 points. 16 rebounds for out of the Kumbo. There's a three by LaMarcus Aldridge. He's had a 40-point game recently, so he is really feeling sharp at the offensive end. Got to be aware of that. Speaking of sharp, you better be aware of that, too. Giannis had to take that one. He was so wide open and found beautifully by Bledsoe. Lopez leads the NBA in block percentage. He's a guy that's not mentioned as a defensive player of the year candidate, but should be. Another one. And Giannis must have hurt you. <laughs> Comes right out, puts him in a pretty good position to stay in this game. Oh, Budenholzer was moving toward Giannis as he was headed to the deck, but he's all right. But Lopez signaling that he blocked it at the very least an alter. Yes, at the rim. That's in the post against Rudy Gay. He releases and is fouled. Boy, he was ready to hammer that. He was, but again, the Popovich, no, no duck rule for Giannis. Giannis for three. Well, and again, you know, you're going to embarrass him into shooting those three pointers. Again, his teammates have got to start knocking down some of those shots that with Cal Corbin on the floor. You got somebody that can do that. And then it's up to the great player to find a way. And he does. This is chess, not checkers. Giannis goes to the right hand and uses the glass. That's a tough, tough finish. Giannis did a good thing. He felt the contact and then went through after he yep. lost the ball to act as if it was knocked away. Good job. The foul had already been seen. So he's back on the line. The Bucks beat the San Antonio Spurs. Mike Budenholzer, four and nine against his mentor, Greg Popovich, 127 to 118. Let's go find Giannis for the hammer. There were no dunks in the game on Saturday in Milwaukee. The last Bucks game without a dunk by either team. 2012, November 30th. That was against Minnesota on the road. Giannis. Giannis knocks the ball away from DeRozan. DeRozan wanted the foul call. Giannis takes it away. Giannis, Even Chenzo from Giannis. Bring it up, a triple. Combined the offense. Nice job, Giannis. There it is, the Euro and the finger roll lay-in. It brings a timeout. It's a Giannis timeout. Jante Murray drives to the elbow and scores over Brook Lopez. That's a good-looking shot. Again, expand that range, and this young man could be a, a star in this league with the other attributes he has. Nice job, Bledsoe. Sobo shows three, find Giannis. Nice kick to the corner. And Wesley Matthews, the quarter. He's from off. Eric White. Giannis to the corner. Matthews again. Yes. The Bucks able to control the rebound in the first half. San Antonio shot 60% on threes, 52% overall. You don't see that very often from the Spurs. Giannis drives, scores, and a foul committed by LaMarcus Aldrich. Nice contest by Bledsoe, Trey Lyles. Missing his shot, here comes Giannis. Downhill big time. Boy, he is beautifully attacking at full speed, but then being able to gather just at the point of release to kiss it softly off the glass. Those are difficult finishes for Giannis inside. Looped it beautifully to Giannis. It's an and one, a very fine pass by Middleton. Giannis completes the three-point play. 13-point San Antonio lead. Giannis in traffic, beautifully done. All right, Dario, we will look forward to Bucks live. Post game, Giannis with the flush. Right under the basket. Let's go for three. Yes, there it is. 
126-104. Milwaukee will be 32 and six. Not much wrong with that. And they will have won eight of 10 despite the loss tonight. How about that last shot from Brooke Lopez? As Atenacupo gets inside, draws some contact. No call, but still banks it home. Atenacupo for three. We say it every time he knocks down a three-pointer. If that becomes consistent, it's over. And picked up Middleton. Antetokounmpo with a flush. Antetokounmpo count it and the foul. He's trying to get himself going. Antetokounmpo, there's the Euro step layup, count it and one. Antetokounmpo, good-looking jumper there. Antetokounmpo, there's the double team, kicks it out Lopez. And it's just so effortless for him from that far out. Connaughton fires away. That's good. Tedekupo creates some space and a soft touch. I love that. You see that upper body strength. As Corver nails a long three-pointer. Ninth rebound for a Tedekupo. Euro step drive, layup, count it, and one. Lob inside, and Tedekupo with the slam. Middleton, alley up to a Tedekupo, beautiful pass. And there they foul on Tedekupo. Two perfect free throws there. Burks flies another one up, and Tedekupo the rebound. And that's pretty much going to do it. They foul him right away. And this remarkable young talent from Greece. And the Warriors aren't going to foul. Milwaukee with another road win. Denver 120, they're right behind them at like 118, 119. But Denver's winning. Denver's like 7 and 3 over that 10 game stretch. Blazers are 3 and 7. Anthony Tolliver committed his first foul. Giannis hits his first shot. Giannis has scored 20 or better in six straight games against the Trail Blazers. Last night he worked hard, but he didn't play a lot of minutes. That's what he can do. He's feeling good, it would appear. Giannis, an easy rebound for him. All the way down. Yes, and one. Keep the pressure on him, young fella. Matthews missing from the corner. Giannis, the rebound. He lays it in softly. Giannis nice. for three. He has 13 points. Giannis floats and has 15 points. Day and night difference from last night when he finished with 13 for the game. Euro, two more, 17 oh, for Giannis. Oh, he looks sharp. He looks sharp on the finishes. You got to play the games anyway. You might as well win them. Uh-oh. Pull the that. arrow. Wesley Matthews at three. DiVincenzo elevating, cashing in a triple. Good looking ball player. Shooting 32% from three. Kubo angles into the lane to the glass and laid it in. CJ did everything that he could do. He's in. He's in. And in. Bledsoe to Giannis. He comes over the top of Tolliver to grab the long lead pass and pump it in with two hands. Out Anthony passed up the three to go right at Giannis. It's like the that's like the Hassan Whiteside effect. Five forty four left, third quarter, eighty one sixty eight count. George Hill screen and roll. Giannis the flush. So now he wants to start dunking. Here's Giannis a three. Got it. Oh, yes. Connaughton tracks down the loose ball. Giannis a nice little backhand bounce pass. The offense sputtered a bit on the trip. Giannis off the bust out. Mean mug early. First two points brings the mean mug tonight. Four points for Chris Middleton. Giannis at the rim. Rebound put back. First foul on Giannis a moment ago. He goes right back to the rim and has six points. Oh, that's so pretty. Giannis. At full speed, full gallop, gets very deep. Robinson just said, see who played. Three-pointer out of the Kumbo. 14 points out of the Kumbo. Gets out of whatever he was in and draws a foul on his way out. Let it go. Well, he let that go. <laughs> this is what they want to happen. A three by out of the Kumbo. Matthews at the rim. Giannis cleans up. Giannis, left-handed lay in beauty. Giannis has not been kind to the New York Knicks. He made his NBA debut against the Knicks in 2013. It's getting a little bit ugly. I mean, when Giannis is scoring that easy, I know he makes it look easy a lot of times, but 
34 points in 19 minutes. There it is, finally. Wesley able to pull an arrow. 128, 102. The Bucks sweep the New York Knicks. Here are the starting lineups for the Celtics. Jason Tatum is back after sitting out last night with a sore knee. Gordon Haywood will start for Jalen Brown, who's sidelined by a sprained thumb. Daniel Tice is center. Marcus Smart, Kemba Walker at the guards. The Bucks up front with Giannis, Chris Middleton, and Brooke Lopez in the backcourt. Wesley Matthews and Eric Bledsoe. The official Zach Zarvin, J.T. Orr, and Mitchell Irvin. The Bucks with the best start in franchise history. Certainly with the chance to become only the third team to win 70 games in a season. The other two, of course, the Bulls in 95-96 and the Warriors several years back. So Giannis takes it to the rim for the first bucket of the night. Walker picked off by Middleton. Here's Giannis again and puts it down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the reigning MVP. Easy layup, and anybody want to see a poster? Anybody want to get dunked on? You can come join the party, too. And yes, Giannis uses his athletic ability as he should. Here's Lopez from the other side. Yes! That's his third three. Nice pass, and here's Giannis. The one-hop pass thrown by Middleton. Here's Hayward. Boston shooting has been way off the now. 31% for the field. Giannis puts the speed on and scores one right at Ogilvy. DiVincenzo filling it. And hits again from downtown. Wide open. Smart is rejected. Giannis accelerates. And he is fouled. Again, they try to establish that wall, and again, Giannis drew the foul. Every time you look at Milwaukee Bucks statistics, there's a, a new season high or franchise high. They've set a new season high for points in the first half with 73. Giannis lost the dribble. They try to tie him up, and they succeed. Middleton controls. Middleton with the shot. Yes! And the foul! There's Walker. Great catch it by Lopez. Giannis going at Hayward off a spin. Yes, and it counts. Giannis, who is working on his uh, most valuable player campaign and would be the early line favorite. Lopez controlling and scores. 13 points for Lopez. Giannis cutting right and left, goes to the fade, and Giannis hits. Middleton, recovered by Giannis and the Well, Giannis turning down that three at the top of the key, wide open to get a better shot in a better position. Good job by the Bucks leader. Middleton, backing his way, blocked. Blocked from behind by Tatum, recovered by Giannis, and he lays it off. Those plays are so frustrating if you're Tatum. And this Celtics team, you're playing so well, you have a great job. The ball just bounces a different way for you, but the most important part, keep the same energy. Now Smart looking to front on Giannis. Here's the double. The Vincenzo for three. He has had quite a game. 19 points, 6 of 10 from the field, 4 of 5 from three. That's the combo. Backing. His shot drops off the front rim. 28 points, 16 rebounds, 6 assists. Giannis able to squeeze it through. I haven't seen a couple of players that we're so used to seeing off the bench, whether it's Cognitant, Cognitant, or Brown. Nice lead pass, and Middleton puts it in. It's 22 for Middleton. An ovation for the Bucks. That counts in the foul. Here's Tatum back on the floor. He fires an air ball. And that's it. 
It actually rimmed out, looked to be going short. And the Bucks hold on to beat the Celtics 128 to 123. The only thing about that zone, the Bucks have the shooters around the perimeter to stretch that zone out, which leaves Giannis one on one against Jarrett Allen picking up ahead of Steam. Yes. First four, he wanted the foul that time. This young man works as hard as anybody I know. Larry Irving picking up the foul. Giannis mid range, he was right at the free throw line. Inside, eight points for out of the Kumbo. Uh huh. See, that's what we're talking about. Deep, long three pointer from straight on. That was a Paskey shot. The first one. Steven Chinzo <laughs> triples again. You're one for one. <laughs> Torian Prince. Got to give him that. Right? No, no, offensive no, foul. Got to yeah. give him that one. He walked too. It's an offensive foul. Giannis. That's giving, exactly what he looked like. <laughs> giving you a lot of Giannis. Crew cut, stocky. He's going to take it and snap it. Giannis. Right on cue. For three. Giannis inside. Well done. Count it. Out of the Kumbo, 25. Giannis, step back. 28 points. 117 to 97. Levine the rebound. DiVincenzo was there to help. Giannis. Giannis cleans it up. That's the deuce. Giannis drives after the miss by Sadoransky. It's an and one. They want you to slow down, which he never does. On cue, Jim. The Bulls fans are getting low on kabooms in this year's final NBA season. Giannis spins cycle finger roll and he ends up on the deck. He has 12 points. Giannis, yes, yes. sir. That's good defense once again. Oh yeah. The hole in the donut persists. Yes. Right through the hole in that donut. The Bulls double Giannis on the catch. Bucks executing your offense. Giannis scored three. A contested three. Marking him was right there. Middleton finds Giannis. That little fade away off a of contact. Middleton. Boy, he makes that look so easy, Marcus. He is shooting the ball at such a high level right now. Another two point basket. Restricted area. Bledsoe. Giannis was double teamed for a split second. There it, is, there it is. That fade away. That little fade away. Wesley Matthews pulls the arrow. 26. How do you deal with that? How do you stop that? What was his rule? Try to shoot within eight seconds. Yep. There it is, man. Giannis 28, 14, and 9. Devontae Graham has uh, really had a great start to this season, but the longer he plays, the better he does, the more teams are defending him. Still the leading score for the Hornets. Giannis opens with a hammer and a meatball. Batum. That three bounces away. Giannis the rebound. Giannis goes to the left hand. Back to the Going to his right, jumps off that right foot, switches it back into the left hand at the last minute for the dunk. Giannis has it. To the left hand against Hernan Gomez. Foul call against Hernan Gomez as Giannis goes down. Giannis hears MVP chance in Paris. The seventh buck to pass 10,000 points and the sixth in NBA history with 10,000 points and an MVP award at age 25. Giannis off the glass. Kyle Korver well, found him. A couple of great plays by Korver. First to second strip of the game for him inside, making it so. 
Bledsoe sees the wall. Giannis sees the basket. Great interior extra pass by Dragon Bender inside. Attack the restricted area. Inside, Bledsoe. That rattles out. Giannis pulling it away from Byron Williams. Giannis on the Pass intended for DiVincenzo in the deep corner, picked off by Monk, and DiVincenzo gets it right back. Giannis! Dribble ahead, pass ahead. It's a great sequence on so many different levels. I don't have enough time to talk about it. Brook Lopez, three, no. Giannis had a notion to dunk that. Zeller went up to challenge. Ball kind of slipped out of his hands. Or might have been a Zeller poster. Giannis disrupts Marvin Williams. Knocked it away from him. Ersan gets the first three-point look. Giannis! Yep. You know, Biombos, he's thinking the, <laughs> the mindset of a, of a rim protector. So he goes in, sloughs off on Giannis, wide open look for Ursan, didn't knock it down, but Giannis great inside position to finish. Giannis uh -oh. and one. Mm -hmm. Three-point play, 83-78. Milwaukee leads by five. Out of the Kumbo has 20 with 14 rebounds. Oh my. Wow. What a beautiful play. Middleton just loved it that knowing Giannis would take care of it. But you see Giannis shed PJ Washington on the baseline. Lencho. Giannis cleans it up. Bucks have grabbed this game by the scruff of the neck, and they are not letting go. Giannis. Bump Williams finds Bledsoe yeah. open for uh -huh. three. That didn't hit the net. It went right through. Chris Middleton has four fouls. He stays in the game. Under six minutes to play. And has done a real solid job with Giannis for the most part. See, he switched off of him. Now you get the younger player. He's at P.J. Washington fronting Giannis with no help backside. And that's just asking for trouble. There's that shot you love. Yep. A little fade away. Down in the post. Marvin Williams on his back. And Marvin Williams has played. Some, some solid defense against Giannis, but right now, everything going the Bucks way. They're trying to snap a seven-game skid. Giannis and the Bucks trying to get their streak to eight games. But one big difference. They don't have that guy on their squad. The Bucks will be 40 and 6, the seventh team in NBA history to win 40 in their first 46 games of the season. Five of the previous six won the NBA title. Middleton for three. A 38-point fourth quarter for Milwaukee, led by Giannis. The Bucks win 116-103. The Bucks have beaten both L.A. teams, Utah and Houston, leaving one top Western contender to measure up against. The Denver Nuggets make their only Milwaukee appearance tonight at Pfizer Forum in a late Friday night start. Mason not on, on the floor. He's an athletic, shot-blocking, plumbly brother. Up with an injury that I was not familiar with, a cuboid injury. Here's a three, Wesley Matthews, pull the arrow. Yeah, that's what you got to do with, with Nikola Jokic. He's one of the best in the league in terms of big men running the offense through him. Nice job. Ganassis from Giannis after the basket by Torrey Craig and one. But it's against Utah, and then and, and, and it took a, a great effort by Jokic scoring the final 11 points down the stretch. You know, four or five guys playing between 34 and 36 minutes. Oh, oh my, Yanis! He took the rebound away from Jokic, then just moved him out of the way. Yes! Fox Parton. Good rifle away, good recovery. And one, Michael Porter Jr. Couldn't handle Giannis. Six points in 11 minutes for out of the Kumbo. Able to hold his pivot foot as he was looking around to pass. Pulls up. That's where you got to go. 17 foot. That's where you got to go. And, and this is kind of what he'll get a taste of in the playoff. Giannis, they're going to throw all kinds of bodies at him at the rim, but that mid range jumper will be there for him when he wants it. Looped inside to Giannis. He's surrounded quickly. They double him on the catch. There was a third in the vicinity, and Giannis turns it into two through Wesley Matthews, the fourth. Giannis right back at it. Mm -hmm. 
That works. The Iceman coming. Chris Middleton still in that George Gervin-esque mode. Pat Connaughton, Giannis off the glass. Sterling Brown is blocked by Grant, who is a great leaper, but Giannis stays with it. Giannis, yes, oh my. Looked like he picked up speed at the last for that hammer. Just a great, look at that, just a great, a little bit of a hold. I mean, yeah, yeah, it was, <laughs> there was some illegalities involved in that, but you don't call it, it don't count. And Uga Adublo on the finish. <laughs> Let's show glass are good. He's been doing a great job of that. Just, just again, stopping on a dime and then that little in-between floater and finding the angle off the glass for the finish. Giannis. Yes. That's still your advantage if you can get to it. Giannis for three. Yes. Uh -huh. I, will, I may not be able to make a first free throw, <laughs> but I'm going to bury this long, deep three-point shot. He almost made a spectacular play, Michael Porter Jr. on the lob from the Joker. Giannis. Tough finish, a lot of contact, no foul. Keep playing. Well, good news tonight, the Bucks magic number has been reduced to nine. Chicago beaten by Brooklyn, Giannis, and Walker. Yes. Giannis. Yes. That's what I talked about, with this lineup on the floor for Denver, it's all about your on-ball defense. Jokic had eight points through three quarters, seven in the fourth. Giannis gets through. The Nuggets, Spartan in particular, thought he traveled 31 for out of the Kumbo. So Denver gets to bed at 5.15 in the morning, comes in here and wins 127-115 with a season-high 22 three-pointers made. That will get the folks in Denver excited. That's a big victory for the Nuggets. Out of the Kumbo and a foul call. Giannis makes both and has tied Michael Red for second on the Bucks free throw made list. Beautiful, no luck. Giannis finds Brooke Lopez. Whoops! Oh, Middleton. Taking over the Bucks' early scoring lead. Brooke Lopez has eight. There you go. Nice. Not short, yes. not long, right through on a quick. That one thumps and allows the Bucks to control the rebound. Yes! Oh my yes. goodness. Wow. Come on, deep catch. Giannis finds Brooke Lopez. It says one 20 of 48, the Bucks 41 of 48. Giannis, yes, and one. Middleton with a great play. Pass ahead, Giannis. He's going to get it somehow. Phoenix won that game, 133-104. In Dallas, Giannis. Double-handed. Keep going to Giannis. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're going to just keep fouling, they'll, they'll find an opening. You keep fouling and we'll run a play. Giannis has 25. Giannis blocks DeAndre Ayton. Five on the shot clock. That was just a little floating little hook. A little indecision on his part on how to finish. We want to talk about Coach Budenholzer, Jim. Paul Sterling Brown out of the game. We saw that shot of him sitting next to Coach Bud. How about 30? How about 30? The call, 30, 19 with nine assists. New Orleans fourth in pace in the NBA. The Bucks are number one in the league. And they cash it in once again as Middleton, an all-star for the second consecutive year. And, of course, Giannis and his international effect. Is there ever any concern that what, Zion, what Giannis has to do defensively could have hurt him on the offensive end having to guard Zion here tonight? No. All right, Coach. Good luck in the second half. The eight. Giannis yeah. scores inside for the Bucks. Checking with Jaron Greenberg. You've got more on Zion. What do you have, Jaron? Well, yeah, after Sunday's loss to Houston as Giannis gets the bucket mm. and the foul, B.A. Speaking about driving, you see the hesitation. This is seven oh. foot doing a hesitation right there inside. Zion taking on the Greek freak. 
And Giannis meets him out the rim. That'll stay in the possession of New Orleans. I think the Pelicans, they're hoping to make a run this year, but certainly these are good times for them as Giannis throws it down on a lead from Eric Bledsoe. Middleton gets clear for a three and buries one. Ingram has added some weight. He's gained about 11 pounds, and yet his his three. body fat is down as Giannis throws <laughs> the three ball. He was working on at halftime. Giannis scores on Zion. He's got a great defense that time by Zion, but Matthews, but by having Ana Cooper inside, it sunk the defense, which ultimately got Matthews a shot up with the baseline jump shot wow. turnaround. And that would be something for this organization if two historical seasons together were to happen. Perfect compliment. Giannis comes out of the timeout with a dunk. As we said, I know everybody's happy at 70, but initially I was going for 80. Wow. <laughs> JJ Reddick for three. Back comes on to Kumpo. Stayed on this end of the floor and an easy jam for Giannis. Like when I played with Vladi, Divac, and Chris Weber, even Arvidas and Bonas, it made me cut harder knowing I would get it if I was open. Giannis scores and won. And through all that, Brett Brown hasn't changed. Think about this. This is the guy that coached his team when they only won 10 games. Nice new move there by the Greek one. With a rebound by Anna DeCumbo, the number five rebounder in the NBA, the other way. That free to fly with a mid-range shot drops. Comes a spinning Anna DeCumbo. Look at that. Beautiful finger roll. There's no defense for that as well. Oh, here comes Giannis, faking right, goes left, and hammers it home. Pretty play by Giannis Anna DeCumbo. Ayoshi goes over there to go against Lopez, who's across the lane with the miss and the nice finish. Giannis will jackhammer it in. And here he nice. goes. There you go. With one all-star to another. Middleton to Antetokounmpo. Giannis will try it right at him. Oh, right man. at him. And if you're Joel Embiid, you got to be saying, wait a minute, didn't you just take me as your first pick in the all-star yes. game? <laughs> nice pass. Watch away from him. Feed from Antetokounmpo. And a foul. Middleton. He's got four. Play onto the Kumbo will tap it up and in. Eight lead changes in this one. Three. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice triple. And that's two tonight by Robin Lopez from deep. Offensively, Joel and Al are obviously down, but he said Joel is getting fouled inside. And in the second half, he's going to do a better job reminding the referees that he is getting fouled. Bucks, by the way, have only turned it over one time. Oh man! Since the first quarter, the drive by onto the Kumbo. Out to the Kumbo with a shot. Right over Horford. Out to the Kumbo. Bump, feed, the fake, the fire, knock it down. How long have we been seeing that from that young man? Ronish comes up with it with another rebound for him. 14, the drive. Those run up won't go on a foul. I'm assuming as the reigning MVP, and with better numbers this year, with the best team in the NBA, he is your front runner yes. for the MVP. It's his to lose. Beautiful <laughs> shot, acrobatic, layup inside by onto the Kuhn ball. Giannis daring Horford to come out. Mm -hmm. That three is good. Look at this. Who's he going back out? Nice what a feed! Foul. What a feed! Spoon feeds Connington. Only two points. Oh, since the oh no! You've got that jam oh, right oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. <laughs> that face says it all. Matthews for three. That's good. Wesley Matthews knocks down a three. The shot by Gordon is blocked by Adetokounmpo. I'm ready for Markel to be a little bit more selfish, a little more greedy at the offensive end. Middleton mid-range shot. Double team. Connaughton for three. Rattles it in. You see, you've got to come down, try to take it out of Giannis's hands. He forces you to do that. Ersan Ilyasova. And a nice pass from Adeta Kumbo. Their last 80 is only four points per game. Let's see what he does tonight. Kyle Korver with a couple of field goals for the Milwaukee Bucks. Bledsoe on the drive. Bamba is there. Bledsoe still is able to finish. So strong. 
Then Akumbo drives it to the basket. That's his first field goal. Then Akumbo, one on one against Clark, just takes it right to the rim. Then Akumbo. It's pretty easy for Giannis Adenakumbo. Now the ball pops loose. DiVincenzo picks it up, and Giannis throws it down. That's so good. The three is good out of the corner by Matthew. The bow and arrow <laughs> is brought out again. Markel on the attack. Cracked down by Adenakumbo, and Fultz is down. Tweet at halftime from Big Magic fan in Australia. They're watching in Australia? Yeah, down under. The lob to Adeta Kumbo. Help for Vucevic. Lopez open for three. Brooke Lopez is five for five from beyond the three point line. Even Chenzo. Nice pass by Adeta Kumbo. The Bucks will sweep the Magic on the season at 4 0. The NBA has taken its annual All-Star break and has reconvened for a sprint to the playoffs for the Bucks. That 28-game wrap-up starts tonight in Detroit's Little Caesars Arena. It's Game 3 against the suddenly rebuilding Pistons. Here's Derrick Rose. Reggie Jackson had been starting at the point. He had a big game. He's been hitting 20-point games, had 11 assists last time out. But they cut him, bought him out. And apparently he's on his way to the Clippers. Giannis is on his way to the rim in Detroit. Nice uh, bit of pick and roll basketball. It's just, Maker 5, Milwaukee 4. Yeah, I mean, just 33 for 6 from the three, three point line. But that, that's uh, that's kind of like, like Giannis' incremental improvement. And speaking of Giannis, nice baseline fade. Chris Middleton kind of hustled over and got himself right in the middle of the fray, came to Giannis' defense. Kind of, kind of, you know, out of character, just in terms of what you think of in terms of Chris Middleton, but showed some great, great toughness. Speaking of which, drive and score. There's the drive I was talking about. Derek Rose leads the NBA drive rate, 32 drives per 100 possessions. Wow. Yes. Again, great, great activity on defense. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. And his back turn. He's still there. And he'll be shooting free throw. I, might, I thought he might try and reverse that as he faced the pass coming his way and just out jumped everybody. Brandon Knight has two turnovers. He hasn't been in the game all that long. He threw one away to Giannis, then lost the handle here. Giannis, it's an and one on a block. 14 and 12 in 12 minutes. Up for Giannis, beautiful touch pass. Robin Lopez for three, sip the team. And pay it off, Rolo. You, know, you get that kind of a great touch pass from a, from a teammate. That you put a little bit of extra emphasis on trying to knock it down. Oh, my goodness. What a move by Giannis. All right, you blocked my shot earlier in the first quarter, Mr. Wood. I got something for you. Block this. Chris Middleton is four for four on threes. The 13th straight game that he has made two or more 17 years ago tonight. Ray Allen was traded to the Seattle Supersonics that's for really, Gary Payton. That really impacted you. You've mentioned that. You, you get some emotion. It's here. the worst <laughs> deal in Bucks history. Every time you mention that. You it's the worst <laughs> trade deadline deal in NBA You history. got the glove, Gary Payton. The glove. For 28 whole games. <laughs> Giannis on a flush. Another one, Yanis from Brooke uh, Lopez. Uh, with Dwayne Casey has just seen way too much. Great basketball tonight. Hanson with that flat lefty hook this time. Little push shot. Here's Yanis. And now Brooke Lopez for three. Yes, sir. Milwaukee nine of 23 behind the arc. Yanis against Dumbuya. He kicks it. Myron back to Yanis. A push. Count the basket. On the back, it's Brown. Just over seven minutes. Giannis stays with it. Dumbaya was on his back. Giannis stops Christian Wood. 
It's, it's a bit of a face-off. Whoa. Friends of mine around the league saw that stat the next morning. They were like, what? It's got to be a misprint. Yes. There's that step back. And there's 31 points. This passing is impressive. Yes. Lays it in. 33. That's great activity. So the Bucks start the post all-star portion. There's the hug and the respect. Giannis Adetokounmpo and Christian Wood. They start with a victory 47 and 8 through 55 games, Marcus. Another sellout here at Five Serve Forum. For a couple of contenders in the Eastern Conference. 76ers trying to snap their five game road losing streak. And Middleton with the hit ahead to Antetokounmpo. Great catch underneath and he draws the foul. You can't let him go up and dunk the ball because he's one of the top three guys in the league in dunks. The other factor is, is that if he has to get out to the line, he's still in the 60s from the foul line. And that shot that he just made a moment ago, that mid-range 15-foot jump shot is something that he's looking much more comfortable yes. taking these days. And Tenepunpo off to a good start here with a couple of mid-range jumpers. Doesn't hesitate on the three. Got it! There you go. So he just looked over here and he says, Yubi, don't talk about that because I'm not going to the line. I'm going to take threes all night. Harris with a mismatch against George Hill. You got, you got to take him. Yeah, he's improved with yeah. taking advantage of mismatches, yeah, but couldn't yeah. convert. Yeah, I'm surprised that he, he got a jump in a tough angle to bank it off. Oh, how about this? Giannis on the drive. You know, if you hiccup, you miss him. All right? <laughs> he, just, he gets the ball at three-quarter court. All of a sudden, he's gone. Nice cut. Hill on the cut for the layup. How about the pass? See, as soon as he turned to make the uh, reverse move down inside, Giannis, watch, watch the move. You know, just watch. Now, my man goes a double team. I'm going to go without the ball. Beautiful. And the pass was right there. Harris off the Embiid screen. Nice Ready. roll by Embiid. And he missed the bucket. Yeah, that was a tough move. Mm. Tough move by him. Giannis. Look at how room service. Yeah. Harris on the drive. Good play Good finish, and he comes uh -oh. up hobbling. Yep. He's gone down under the yep. basket. Middleton with the reverse layup. Oh, they got they to get to him. He's having trouble. Oh, let's, let's, hope, let's hope he can run it off. Tenacumpo spins. Oh, pretty move oh. by Giannis. Uh, MB played him right, was right up there in the air, trying to go for the shot block. But the fade, the fade and the high shot right over the top of the hand. Burks on the break, oh, blocked Burks, by Giannis. Well, Burks is upset because he thought he got bumped. Now this is just a great block. I'm timing you down, and I'm going to get the block. You get the block right there. Beautiful. But he did get him with his legs and caused Burks to stumble as he went out of bounds. <laughs> Lopez, tee time with the three. Pretty Giannis pretty. and one. And that's going to be a foul against Embiid, his fourth. And Akupo at the free throw line. He has a new foul shooting routine where he's just bouncing the ball five times as opposed to a random number that used to range anywhere between four and eight. Bad three-pointer, a tough miss by Embiid. Giannis at the other end. Got it. See, that's how fast it happens. You got a good time out. You got you to stay in this game right now. Giannis on the post up against Horford. No double team coming. Spins on the baseline, and that's a nice-looking yes. mid-range jump shot. Hubie, that's the shot that people are going to wonder if he can make in the playoffs when yeah. we get into April and May and potentially but June. right now, he's scoring 30 a game, so he's doing a pretty good <laughs> yeah. job. Yeah. All right. Oh, Giannis on the oh, drive, baby. and one! Yes. A picture of intensity and a monument to motivation. Uh, big time shot by Middleton. And listen, he, he, they fronted him and they blew the pass over the top. He was behind the backboard in that corner, but had an angle to get to the rim. Mm. Giannis finds Matthews in the corner and he knocks down the three. Brett Brown calls timeout and the Bucks get out in transition. Robin Lopez, yes! Take another sit. He shot that like he's won the best of the league. Keeping good company as yeah. far as three-point shooting goes. You realize how many shots this quarter have just rolled around the rim and off the Philadelphia. DiVincenzo! Oh, okay. They're burying you now. Timeout, Sixers. 
The this lead is... swells to 22. If you're just joining us, the 76ers lost Ben Simmons, their all-star point guard, after just five minutes with a back injury. And Giannis will give you a pain in the back with those kind of shots if you're trying to guard him. Giannis doesn't hesitate on the three. And he's got that little shimmy shake. He's feeling it. The lead is up to 24. Giannis, you guys had a six-point lead at the half, and you end up blowing them out. How did you guys take control of this game? You know, we just uh, came out in the third quarter. We know they're going to try to uh, come out hard. They always come out hard in the third quarter. But we were playing defense, and we were able to rebound the ball and run. You told us before the game about how now these games start to matter more as you guys get ready for the postseason. What is a game like this, what kind of a message does it send? It doesn't send any message. We're just coming out here, try to play good basketball, try to play together, and try to get better. You know, we got 20 more, 26 more games into the playoffs. We just try to get in that playoff shape and uh, uh, just get better. Joel Embiid proclaimed that he was the best player in the world. You guys had him, held him to 5 of 18. How did those comments sit with you coming into this game? I'm, I'm not on social media. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we did know, speaking of uh, social media, we saw that your son, Liam Charles, was born recently. You're going on the road soon. How much dad time are you getting in before the road trip? I'm going to try to get as, as much dad time as I can right now, but uh, when I go to the road trip, I'm going to try to get so, as much sleep as I can because uh, these couple of days I haven't slept at all. And, uh, but yeah, you know, being a dad is amazing, and uh, that's it. Giannis, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, back to you. For the Wizards, 20 and 35, it is Ish Smith and Bradley Beal on the backcourt with Isak Bonga, Vuri Hachimura, and Jan Mahimi up front. For Milwaukee, 48 and 8, Eric Bledsoe, Wesley Matthews in the backcourt. Chris Middleton, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Robin Lopez will start at the center. Bonga tries to go baseline. His pass is picked off here by Wesley Matthews. Let's go. This time the lob is complete to Giannis Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo around Hachimura. Wow. Nice move by Giannis. Look, you're going to be dealing with that all night. That was three Wizards players that Giannis just went through like it was nothing. Hachimura against Antetokounmpo. Giannis trying to back him down. Now a fadeaway jumper with that high release. Milwaukee 6 of 7 to open this game from the floor. Matthews resets for 3, hits it, and the foul. What a pass. Wagner had that shot maybe blocked by Antetokounmpo. Napier for 3. Rebound out to DiVincenzo. Here comes Hill. Hill. No, the follow Antetokounmpo there for the dunk. Quick. Onto the Kupo. Good defense by Hachimura. Lopez for three. Oh Are you serious? Robin Lopez with his third three of the game. He's got nine now. On the Kupo. Just overpowering Troy Brown Jr. right now. Here's onto the Kupo against Napier. We'll shoot over him. You wanted to shoot the outside shot, but he has about a foot advantage over Shabazz Napier. Closest it's been since late in the second quarter. Remember, it was at that time when Milwaukee ended the first half on a 6-0 run. The lob to under the Cooper. This is running the pick and roll to the double side. All the traffic is over there, so it leaves that backside empty. Under the Cooper. He follows his own miss. What do we have? you have to make. You said that in the first half. Fly, fall down. Listen to this place. Tonight, up north, the two hottest teams in the NBA go head-to-head -head as we join you from Toronto. It's a rematch of last year's Eastern Conference Finals. The NBA on TNT Tuesday is presented by State Farm.
The Bucks and the Raptors, second of four meetings between these two teams and the standings in the East. Number one versus number two. Milwaukee is on pace to win 70 games. Toronto currently riding a nine-game home winning streak. Milwaukee is 0 of 4. Toronto is 0 of 5. I did a Kumpo. Corner pop. Book it for Lopez, a three. And that's a good sign for them. Brooke Lopez has had a tough time shooting the three this year. He's played really well, but had struggled at the line. That's a good sign. I did a Kumpo. Got it. Bucks with a chance to tie or take the lead, depending on shot selection. They swarm Adetokounmpo. No look. Lopez for the lead. Got a three. I think it's really big for the Bucks. Well, obviously, when a team knocks you out of the playoffs like sure. they did last year, you're a competitor. That team is going to be on your mind for the entire season, and you're going to watch them when you get a chance, and you're going to start to form some ideas on how to play against them. Robin Lopez, a corner three. It doesn't matter which Lopez is in there. They're going to make corner trays. Good effort. Davis the steal ahead. Oh, rejected! Adetokounmpo just gummed Hollis Jefferson. Wow. DiVincenzo. Cross. Kick. Adetokounmpo, they leave him free. And he drains it. It's a three. And he's been really struggling from there. He'd made some improvement earlier. Only shooting about 26% over the last 21 games from there. Ibaka couldn't get a clean shot initially. And he missed it on the reverse. A late whistle. And Ibaka will shoot a pair. Adenobi defending out of the Kumpo. And then on the switch, Adetokounmpo takes it right at Ibaka for the deuce. Bucks can take the lead here. Bledsoe, that slingshot delivery. It's a three. But both teams trying to do the same thing. Trying to put the ball on the floor and attack the basket. Lowry, hard cut to the rim. Denied by Lopez. One of the best shot blockers in this league. And he's been there all night long, willing to leave those guys open to shoot threes. What a find. Adetokounmpo with the vision to hit Middleton underneath. Oh, the cut by Middleton. And Adetokounmpo led him perfectly for the deuce. Ananobi, the hard drive, challenges Lopez. And he missed everything. Adetokounmpo the other way. Swing it. DiVincenzo, baseline, reverse. Oh, oh. it goes! DiVincenzo, acrobatic. What a finish. Mike Budenholzer was lauding the work that Jay Wright had done at Villanova in getting this guy prepared to play defensively. He's been outstanding for them at that end of the floor. And Anobi creates space. Got blocked, got blocked again. Brooke Lopez has five rejections tonight. I got a couple of bullseye, a triple. The hot streak will continue. It will be 18 of their last 20 games. Victories for Milwaukee. The Bucks improved to 50 and 8 on the season. They knock off the Raptors here in Toronto in a possible preview of the Eastern Conference Finals. Pat five serve for them in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They have been jumping for joy about their bucks all season long. 50 and eight, best record in the NBA. Meanwhile, the Oklahoma City Thunder have surprised plenty of people. 37 and 22, currently the five seed in the Western Conference. They are riding a nine game road winning streak. Giannis to the rim on a nice delivery from Eric Bledsoe. Yeah, and Eric, what a pretty pass. What nice tempo he starts there. Just right under control, pocket pass, nice and easy. Then a Kubo, a deep catch, a quick turn, bucket of the foul. And easier said than done to try to not give up the paint and not foul this guy. You look at the numbers. He's increased his points and rebounds all seven seasons of his career. Right now, he leads the league in fast break points, as well as points in the paint. Mm. Something no player in the NBA has done over the last 20 seasons. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the house knows something about dominating in a Milwaukee uniform. Adetokounmpo. Into the paint, somehow able to maneuver it off. So you think that the low center of gravity, the big physical body is going to be able to contend with him, bring an extra defender, and he just, he's too powerful, too big, too strong, too good. Deontay Burton can't hit from the corner. Good feed. Bledsoe to Giannis for the hammer. 
And let's give Billy Donovan some credit. I mean, for me right now, it's he and Nick Nurse, and maybe Mike Budenholzer, obviously, as Coach of the Year yeah. candidates. Connaughton coming off the bench and producing a nine-point Milwaukee lead. DiVincenzo firing away. And, and he and Pat Connaughton, to me, are completely different from Mike Budenholzer than Malcolm Brogdon was. But they also bring a level of athleticism, rebounding, that helps you and lifts you at times. Giannis draws bodies. Gets the soft roll off front rim. Stay attached here. You've got to stay attached. About time Chris Paul probably gets to a basket if he can. Giannis saves underneath to DiVincenzo. Adetta Kumbo sheds Dort and floats it in. 13 points, six rebounds, three assists for Giannis Adetta Kumbo. Not available tonight. Second half of back to back as Adetta Kumbo rims it a three. Giannis, off one leg, got it to drop, plus the foul, an MVP delivery from Giannis Adetokounmpo. Adetokounmpo with his 10th rebound to go with 19 points in this first half. His jumper is true. Fourth game in which he's had 20 to 10 in the first half. I love what Kevin Garnett said about him saying, you know, he wants to dominate you to the point where he wants to step on you. Yeah. I don't think that's comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Just a fierce, fierce competitor who also can go, go gadget arms. So now you get physical and you say, all right, I'm not giving up the mid-range this time. I'm not doing it. I'm, now he says, all right, I'm going to take an extra dribble. And the extension. The Bucks. 50 and 8 there, 26 and 3 at home. Clinched a playoff spot earlier than any team in league history, and that man, a huge reason why. He is going at the strongest guy in the league. Like, Stephen Adams is at the cup. Most guys won't go that direction. Giannis is 3. is good. Here comes Giannis. Kicks it out. Williams in the corner. He got it. Giannis turns and puts it in. And, and, and Noel didn't do a poor job defensively. He really didn't. Nice, nice pass. pass. But then a combo right to Williams. That is the area of greatest growth. And Milwaukee can dribble this one out. An authoritative stomping from the NBA's best, Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis, this was a three-point game with five minutes to go in the second quarter. You won by 47 points. That's the largest margin of victory all season. How were you guys able to do that tonight? I think we just had fun. Um, I think uh, guys were running to their, to their spots. And we were able, me and Blade, we were able to drive their, their lanes and they made, their, made the right pass. And we were knocked down shots. The ball was moving. We were defending. We were having fun. So that's why we won by 47. You mentioned the defense. Last year, you guys were first in defense. This year, you're even better. You're at a historic pace right now. What's different on the defensive end, Giannis? Nothing. We just uh, have that individual pride. Like, we don't want our guy to score on us. And at the end of the day, we know that somebody else is going to have our back. So we just got to go out there, try to be active, try to get in passing lanes, try to rebound the ball. And uh, we got, we got, we got uh, a guy like Brooke. The uh, defense of the uh, defense player of the year candidate that is doing a great job and he's helping everybody um, defensively. We saw you excited when uh, Thanasis was getting some buckets out there. We saw you talking to him now. What were you telling him and what was it like to watch him out there? It was great, great watching him. I think he did a great job just uh, taking his time, uh, moving the ball. He was really mature out there and uh, I think he did a great job defending. So I'm really happy for him. It's great to be on the NBA floor. I think you. Uh, you get experience by that. So, you know, it's my brother. I was really happy for him. Giannis, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, back to you. Hornets basketball is brought to you by Sharon View Federal Credit Union. Welcome, everyone, to Charlotte's Temple of Basketball Spectrum Center on a Sunday afternoon. And the Hornets spreading the good news. They're red hot, and they are doing it on the road and trying to do it at home. Tonight, they'll be tested. They're going to take on the Milwaukee Bucks.
They have the 51 wins on the year. And Tedekumbo working on P.J. Washington. Matthews, clean look. Best seven-game stretch of the season for the Hornets. They're five and two in their last seven games. With four of those rents coming on the road. And Tedekumbo getting his first bucket. Reigning MVP. Yes, me. He is the leader this year for the MVP. No, absolutely. No doubt about it. He is, his, he is laser focused at one thing only. That's winning the title. Wow, the up and under with a foul. Fancy footwork for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Score the goal and a foul on Biombo. Doesn't need any breaks. He's 6'11 with long arms. Tenacious, skilled. Yeah, Giannis is a guy you might see a lot of other big guys, tough guys, MVP type guys trying to get their teammates involved. No, he gets himself involved first and then does things like that with his teammates. Scott Lopez left hand. We're talking about Giannis. This guy seven times he scored 30 or more points in under 30 minutes. <laughs> Jeez. I still can't figure this guy out. How is anyone ever going to stop Giannis Antetokounmpo? Yeah. Oh, man. Cody got called for a block. Score the goal. Chance for a three-point play. Antetokounmpo. Oh, George Hill. My goodness. That was four feet behind the line. Wow. Antetokounmpo. Lopez, Bledsoe, DiVincenzo, and Brown playing together from Milwaukee. Ah, good. Giannis Antetokounmpo, dunk number 160 Giannis. on the year. He stretches Billy out. You know he doesn't, does not want to shoot threes. And Billy buckles down, tries to move his feet, but just the long strides of Antetokounmpo gets him to where he wants to go. Bledsoe misses the reverse. Uh -oh. Giannis Antetokounmpo. Three dunks for him in the first half. Giannis Antetokounmpo back into the game. Dunk number four. You have to sprint back. Easier said than done. Sprint back, set your feet outside the three, and then expect help. He can go both ways, left and right. When Giannis came into the league, Dell, middle of the first round eight years ago, yeah. did you see it? No. Did you think he had it? Oh, man. Three-pointer Giannis Antetokounmpo. Didn't see that, no. George Hill. George Hill. Milwaukee back on top. See, so you, you do your job in, in stopping Giannis. You wall him up, but there's George Hill sprinting on the left side. Giannis with his head up. Spoon feeds the veteran. Numbers for Milwaukee. And Tedekumbo. They keep coming at you. Look at this. George Hill. Awareness by Giannis. Sees two guys on him, just tips it right back to George Hill, who gets in the inbounds quickly enough before he touches that ball. And Tedekumbo, he has got five dunks on the afternoon. P.J. And Tedekumbo, those long legs. Yeah. Look, he wanted a Euro, but just a half one, and that just gets the defense to slide enough where he can split him right to the front of the rim. Wow. Hey, six punches for Antetokounmpo. Antetokounmpo careless with the basketball, but it doesn't hurt him, and he scores inside. He's now got 29 points to go with 10 rebounds and six assists. That's travel. Biz forces a tough shot that Antetokounmpo hits. Halfway through our fourth quarter, Antetokounmpo. Oh, my goodness. He's inhuman. We need to check to see if he's got hair on the bottom of his feet. Seven flushes, and this is the emphatic oh, one. Oh, my goodness. And him release off the floor. No one else on the planet does that. On any planet. Not a San Tedekumpo. Fully activated. Seven dunks. Two and a half remaining. Try to stop in Tedekumpo. Tough chance. Stud. Hornets down five. Connaughton. Offensive rebound at Tedekumpo, who is wrapped up and will go to the line. Perfection at the free throw line this afternoon for Giannis. Cody Martin's turn on Antetokounmpo. Yeah. 
Yeah. Giannis Antetokounmpo is a force of nature. 40 point night to go with 19 rebounds. Welcome to NBA Wednesday, presented by State Farm. 63rd sellout inside Pfizer Forum. Still in its infancy, just year two of this gorgeous arena in downtown Milwaukee. It's the Bucks, 52 and 9, best record in the NBA against the fifth place Indiana Pacers, who've won four in a row in six of their last seven. Let's go with a pull up three. And long rebound tracked down by Giannis, who goes right at Sabonis and finishes strong with the left hand. I'm telling you, there's just nothing you can do about that. Let's so drive and kick. Here's Giannis from outside. Good on the three. Adela Tumbo has made 81 threes, had 52 made threes all of last year. Here's a lot for Giannis in transition. No contest at the rim. I'm telling you, they get rebounds and they get down to score so quickly. There's not much that you really can do other than tell you guys, we can't send three guys to the glass. Giannis facing up, driving, hanging, but can't score. Got it back, though, and then just plays with four pacers and stuffs it. I'll tell you what, that was actually good defense on the first on the, the first play right there, but Giannis just continues to play, man. Offensive rebound, dunks on three people. I mean, what can you say? Giannis backs it in. Giannis attacking and scoring. He does such a good job of when a guy backs up off of him, just eating up that space right there, and then he's always one dribble or one step away from dunking on Lopez on the scoreboard. Giannis gets his second assist. That one won't fall. And Adetta Kumbo out of there with it, racing up the floor. The long strider gives it up to Middleton. What a pass in transition by the Greek Freak. 12 points now for Middleton. Sabonis showing that strength again. Looks like he was fouled. No whistle. Here's Giannis again in transition. Middleton corner three. Up and good. Timeout, Indiana. Sabonis from outside. He's got 13. See, and if you're Sabonis, that's what you have to do. You try. You have to try to pull Brook Lopez away from the paint. You can't just back him down. He's just too big, and he's too good of a defender. He was noticeably frustrated as uh, Adele Kumbo throws a three. Sabonis thought he was fouled going to commercial, was upset on the bench, threw the towel, was talking to the official. Nice pass by Adele Kumbo. Bledsoe scores, and he's fouled. Miles Turner has actually had a really good month in which he said that he feels like he's playing at his best, smiling more, and the game's more free-flowing because he said he's had to make a lot of adjustments this season, a lot of compromises this year. He came into this year with, with certain expectations, wanting to be an all-star, all-defensive team, but he's had to take on more of a role and something he said that he's willing to do in order to win, Dave. You won a championship as a point guard. Eric Bledsoe is trying to do that, and... We already touched down in the first half last year in that series with Toronto. It was a struggle for him. And you, it seemed like you were saying that his struggles on offense carried over. Is that fair to the defensive side? Yes. You know, sometimes, you know, a lot of players, that, that just kind of happens. In particular, nice shot right there by DiVincenzo. In particular, younger guys. McConnell now. Sterling Brown with the rebound. Largest lead of the night for Milwaukee at 24. Dedekumbo Kumbo step through a score against Turner. He's up to 27 points now. Brown with the pick. Here's Giannis. Here comes Asia. Team is just so good. And the Bucks at 53 and 9 after a 119-100 win tonight. It's the 15th game this season where the Bucks go wire to wire without trailing. Good evening, everyone, with Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Green on hand, Lisa Salters with us as well. As this is the matchup a lot of people have been waiting for. LeBron James' first shot. And the two teams have missed their first six from the field. Count it and one. Giannis Atetokounmpo with a chance for a three-point play. Those long strides. And gets to the basket. These Bucks great on the road this year. 25-6 and six at Tetacumbo. Kicks it out to Eric Bledsoe. Bledsoe back inside and a Tetacumbo with a left-handed slam. I'm watching the Laker defense coach and there's got to be concerned to start this game. 
Two times already have been dribble drive and making plays by Giannis, and that time he catches it off the playmaker. Then a good ball drives, blocking foul, count it, and one. Again, going with force to the rim, and another chance for a traditional three-point play. James the high dribble, throws it up, and Davis throws it down. The NBA's assist leader with a perfect pass. And Coach, you know, these teams, both with championship aspirations, they're going to see each other twice during the regular season. That's it. James just powers to the basket, banks it home, and the Lakers back within one. Uh, Lopez is now, he's become a, even if he did not shoot a high percentage this year, as they get the offensive rebound off the miss. Atenecopo spins, gets inside, and finishes. Wow. It's just unstoppable down there, and the Bucks back up by five. James glides past Lopez and banks it home. Up top to Corver. Corver straight on, nails the three-pointer. And that's the problem. I understand having somebody stay connected to Giannis, but with this lineup on the floor, it can't be Kyle Corver's man. So Rondo, a poor job that time, leaving Corver's body. Caruso, little flash there, and banks it home off the face. Anthony Davis right now already with two fouls, picked up two quick ones. Bledso gets inside, and a nice give and go. Pass deflected and stolen. Seven turnovers. James nearly walked. Howard throws it back up top to Davis. Danny Green to James. James gets in the paint and finishes. That's a statement move by LeBron James. Could have very easily have settled for the three-point shot. James against Matthews. Feet inside of McGee and gets the score. What a beautiful pass. James goes inside with authority. And the Lakers have their first lead of the game. Timeout Milwaukee. And an assist to JaVel McGee for sealing off the help, which allows LeBron James to drive it with impunity. Here, the screen, watch McGee roll, seal Lopez to allow James to attack. Then a Kumpo off balance, lost it, taken away by James. Quick outlet to Kuzma. Kuzma back to Danny Green. Now Kuzma, right side three, got it. Lake has been very good defensively all season long, and I like the way they start this third quarter. <laughs> Tedekumpo with a beautiful move draws another foul. This is the way the game started. Tedekumpo's five for five from the free throw line. It's not an area where he excels at, just 63% as James gets it to go. He banked that in. <laughs> you got a call bank. Bad pass from James, stolen by Middleton. Middleton inside, reverse, he missed it. But Tedekumpo right there on the follow. Middleton gets a wide open look, can't get it to fall, and McGee grabs his 10th rebound in just 13 minutes. Alley-oop! Oh, perfect pass! And Davis with the flush. James, step back three. It's good! James, again, Matthews trying to stay with him. Single coverage, James backing in. Tough fallaway shot, it's good! 21 now for LeBron James. Another lob in to Davis. Lopez guarding him. Lopez falls down and Davis takes advantage. And the foul. Petacumbo, double team, and he took an extra step. 15 turnovers for Milwaukee. Obviously, the Bucks are trying to set screens, which gets LeBron James off of Giannis. That time wasn't able to capitalize. I really like the defense that LeBron has played, set in the tone, eliminating the dominance of Giannis. Danny Green for three. 18 straight points by the Lakers and a 13-point advantage. Davis misses. Antetokounmpo with a rebound. Open court bullet pass deep in Chenzo. Fifth assist. For Tedekumbo on a gorgeous feed there. James backs in, double team, gets away, banks at home. A goaltending anyway. They hit the hit the uh, net with a hand up through the rim. Tedekumbo hits a three. He was 0 for 3 from downtown and brings the Bucks back within nine. The two MVP candidates guarding each other. James inside, banks that one in. 
And the Staples Center exploding right now. Jonathan the drive inside to Lopez. Knocked away and stolen by James. Doing a little bit of everything here with the second half. James goes inside and lays it up and in. But well, like we saw McGee do in the first half, Howard sealed Lopez on that deep drop defensively, which allowed James to get all the way to the rim. James finding his spot, goes inside, foul, and one rolls around and drops through. And a chance for the four-time MVP. Another 30-point game. Well, when he's had 30 points, this is the 20th game he's had 30. They're 19 and 0 in the first 19. Pass inside. Federico double team dribbles out of it. Triple team and gets the shot off and is fouled. He's done all this scoring despite again struggling from the line 63%. He's missed 206 free throws this season and still averaging just under 30 a game. But Federico spinning against McGee. Tough fall away. That one's good. 24 now for Giannis with 10 rebounds and five assists. Middleton, Connaughton, Matthews, corner three. Yeah, interesting enough, Giannis didn't even make it across half court in that possession. James spins across the lane, flips it up, draws yet another foul. He will shoot his 10th and 11th free throws of the game. Middleton. Atetokounmpo gets it a fall and the foul. McGee got there a little late and a chance for a three-point play. Davis, shot won't go. Atetokounmpo with his 11th rebound. You're right, Mike. I'm sorry. And James taking another <laughs> brief rest. DiVincenzo again! 17 points for DiVincenzo. He's coming off a career-high 19 points on Wednesday. He only averages nine a game. Middleton drives. Gets inside, ball knocked away, picked up by James. James sidestep, blocked from behind, and a blocking foul is going to be called against Milwaukee. James looking, goes inside, floats it up, bank shot, won't go, but Davis right there on the tip end. Antetokounmpo, nice turnaround jumper there. Back to six with two and a half to play. The two superstars guarding each other again. Shot clock down to eight. James gets away, behind the back, off the foot of Atenacupo. Davis gets it back, pull-up jumper, it's good! Anthony Davis, another big shot. Middleton, three-pointer, front of the rim, Davis the rebound. What a second half for Anthony Davis. Caruso to James, James spins and throws it down! There's the exclamation point. There goes that man. Wayne Wade in attendance watching his former teammate. A Laker win and they clinch his playoff spot. Remember, they've missed the playoffs the last six years. Well, the postseason berth is not really the agenda. And that'll do it. The Lakers with an impressive win led by their defense. Greg Popovich, Mike Budenholzer, the Bucks and San Antonio underway in the scrimmage, starting for... Eric Bledsoe, who is in Orlando, he'll be in quarantine for a couple of days before being able to join the Bucks on the court. DiVincenzo starting, Giannis takes it into the middle, and a foul to open the game. DeRozan sealed by Giannis. Well, I think you'll notice on both sides here, teams trying to get their rhythm offensively because it's different when you're doing those individual workouts and getting shots up now you've got defense running out you now you're going full speed and the mechanics of it are just a little bit different when the Bucks play in Orlando it will look like a home game for the most part because you'll see Bucks graphics and San Antonio is seeing the same situation for their viewers yes with the flush oh okay Okay, all, all right. right. Another one. <laughs> Softly this time. And in the east, the final spot is between Orlando and Brooklyn. Brooklyn apparently has been given a much higher percentage opportunity to get into the playoffs. And of course, that is important for the Bucks as Giannis flushes another one and has 10 points. When we get to the eight seeding games, 
The Bucks need to win two of those to clinch the best record in the East. Giannis with 12. The nice pass right there to find a slice and dunk. Of he has great vision. The Bucks lead 32-27 with San Antonio. I don't know if I can call a game and eat at the same time. Giannis inside and one. Back outside for Rudy Gay. He hits the three, tied at 32. Well, Rudy Gay is capable from the outside, so you got to definitely run him off the line. You got to run that guy off the line, too. <laughs> Kyle Korver. Chris Middleton with the steel hat in the open court, but wants to set things up. Giannis coming down the lane, doing what he does. 17 for him now, playing with five fouls. And you see the body control there while he's in the air. He is aware that he's got five fouls. Giannis coming up the court, weaves through a couple defenders, gets the layup, and he'll go to the line for two. In the mecca of mascots with no mascots. <laughs> I'm sure he'll figure something out. He's got something up his sleeve. Chris Middleton knocks it down. You can't leave that man open. I didn't want to say anything. I was waiting for it to happen. The Sips team. We've missed it, Robin Lopez. We've missed it. Shemezi Metu with the miss for the Spurs. Well, the NBA was as Giannis takes it in for the double-handed flush. Nice feed, Middleton. Scott Foster is the crew chief up with the ball, and we are underway in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. Jim, a lot of the guys were saying on multiple teams that they don't notice or feel that there's no fans there until they're at the free throw line. And that's when it really feels eerie almost because it's so quiet in there. The Bucks running, Wesley Matthews from the corner for a three. Giannis with the look, he found him. Every Bucks starter has scored, so they are spreading it around early today against the Kings. Harry Giles denied by Brooke Lopez. Giannis hard to the rim. The Bucks force that extra dribble. Sometimes the shooter will be thrown off by that. The shot comes away, and here comes Milwaukee right back at it. Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton had a nice game on Thursday when it came to finding teammates. Three-pointer Kyle Korver. Here's Balitza. Myron Williams has checked into the game for the Bucks. He got Ursan Ilyasova. Block shot, Giannis. Giannis, of course. The leading candidate for his second consecutive MVP award in the NBA, and he is also in the discussion, strongly in the discussion for Defensive Player of the Year. We'll be showing you those statistics that you can take a look at. Voting closes on Tuesday for the postseason award, so those who vote are taking note and they get a lot of material from the teams. Wesley Matthews for three. One thing is for sure, whether you're playing hot or not, you're cool when you're in the buildings. And the Bucks are switching up defenses here, and the Kings will look to find those gaps. The free throw line happens to be that spot. Looked like a 2-3 there for a moment. Giannis, yes, inside. We keep hearing the word rust. Jim, I don't see a lot of it on the Bucks end. Nor do I. A little bit in the first half on Thursday, but every team, the players have said that first run in the first quarter, particularly in their opening scrimmage as Lopez hits the three. Brooke Lopez from the corner. Yannis Antetokounmpo. Three! Well, as Yannis hits a three, Antetokounmpo yes. makes it nine nothing. Take away Yannis on the steal, popped out of the hands of Derek Favors. Tough okay. basket, DiVincenzo. Giannis working against Josh Hart. Contact, no whistle. He finds the shooter for three, Kyle Korver. After Saturday's game, Kyle Korver was saying 
I think this is a shooter's gym. He had five threes on Saturday. Giannis high post against Moore. Lost the dribble for a split second yes. turns. And oh, it oh, is oh. pure right through for Giannis out of the Kumbo. Three of four from the field, eight points. Yes. Giannis on cue goes to the basket. See, Giannis has the ability and awareness to know how many defenders are on him, but he also is such a good decision maker, and it's hard. You can put however many people you want on him, and he still takes advantage of it. Giannis knocks down the three. We salute all the frontline workers, and Zora, we especially want to mention one of those heroes, Dr. Eric Fossum. He is originally from West Bend, currently an ER doctor in Indianapolis. He's a huge Bucks fan. Yes. We got to interrupt you there, Jim. Giannis just yeah, put you a go ahead. I, I, I was watching. I was watching. 19 points for Giannis, 50% from the field. We talk about how the Bucks are going to continue the conversations around social justice. Brooke Lopez gets the three, notches the Bucks up 65 to 62. Giannis exactly. finding yes. his way down the paint. Finger roll for him. That play made possible by the tip from Robin Lopez. Giannis gets it on the break and draws the foul. You could argue it might take Giannis three dribbles to get from free throw line to free throw line, if that. There's the roll spin, Giannis. He can pretty much do it anytime. He has the mentality he could be competitive in an empty gym if he's the only one in it. He has 28 points. Turnover, Giannis goes to the left hand and is bumped. And this should do it. New Orleans will dribble this out. The Pelicans will finish their scrimmages 3 and 0. The Bucks 2 and 1 victories over San Antonio and Sacramento. Meanwhile, for the Milwaukee Bucks, 53 and 12, best record in the NBA. They're without one of their starters, Eric Bledsoe, still not ready to play after testing positive for the virus and getting to Orlando late. So Dante DiVincenzo takes over in the starting lineup. Right now, Hayward is on Etetokounmpo. Goes across the lane, pass outside. Wesley Matthews, bang! Yes, I've been waiting to say that for months. Wesley Matthews. <laughs> we can tell. Jalen Brown shot off the mark. Rebound taken by Middleton. Etetokounmpo running the floor and easily lays it up and in. That's what he does so very well in transition. Uh, that's the NBA rule. The offensive player closest to the ball when it went in is the one that gets credited. As Tatum flips it up, that won't go. That last shot down the other end was the goal 10. Adetokounmpo sneaks inside and lays it in off the glass. Now you guys have been around and seen throughout your time some great defensive teams. Some of the numbers for the Bucks. Put them as one of the best defensive teams the league has seen. Are they in the category of being one of those great defensive teams? I think they're a very good defensive team. I wouldn't put them. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Three, and a three. great timeout from Brad Four Stevens. And these are a Celtic team that have three 20 points per game or more scores. Tatum blocked by Lopez. Lopez, one of the best shot blockers in the game this season. And then a good oh. ball in the finish. Oh. Giannis. Kyle Korver for three. And just to put Korver a name that three. NBA fans don't know, but you should be thankful for this, this man and what he does. Eddie Acuno is as good at his job as anybody in the world. Tice. Eighth rebound already for a Tedekumbo. DiVincenzo shot off nicely by Walker, but pulls back and knocks down okay. the three. A former Villanova star, what a emergence he's had. He's become such a good, solid player for Mike Budenholzer. These are like exhibition games for Boston and Milwaukee as far as the impact it has on seeding as Giannis makes a three. Hard drive, gets inside, blocked by a couple of bucks. A Tedekoum ball blocked by Smart, and that hit it off the glass on a goal 10. Again, for both these teams, you talk to both coaches beforehand as Jalen Brown's jumper rattles in and out, and the whole idea of these seeding games is to obviously stay healthy, number one, but get into a good rhythm where you're playing your best ball when the playoffs begin on August 17th. Foul called on Jalen Brown. Tice has eight points. 
Atacupo down low, double team. Lopez wide open for three. Yes, sir. That's his second three pointer. That has been a weapon for him. He hasn't shot the three as well as he did last year. Poorly run fast break, but great transition D from Milwaukee. DiVincenzo way outside, yes, knocks down the three-pointer. That's his second three. You and Reggie kind of hanging out in the bubble, talking about old times. Oh, we normally have breakfast back in L.A., but he, he hasn't reached out to me since I've been. By the way, this is the Celtics' first lead, is it? Tedekupo, oh, the long three. strides. That lead was short-lived. Mike Budenholzer, who played professionally in Denmark and one year averaged 27 and a half points per game. No, he didn't play for Pop. He recruited. played for his, yeah, recruited by him. They finally took the shackles off him in Denmark, <laughs> and he was able to go get his. As Tatum just can't get in any kind of rhythm, Atetokounmpo, with 22 points and 11 rebounds, brings it up the floor. Marcus Smart guarding him. Brooke Lopez off the dribble yeah. and to the rim. It's a good read by Lopez. Cantor trying to close out at the three-point line, puts his head down, and gets to the rim. Last year, the Celtics guarded at Dedekumpo with bigs. Al Horford, Aaron Baines, as Corver knocks down the three. First of eight seeding games for these two teams. Lopez, another block, his sixth. Matthews dives on it. DiVincenzo and Dedekumpo. Defense leads to offense and a lead up to seven. Timeout Celtics. Tedekumbo, a couple of fakes, now the dry, the layup is good. <laughs> How do you stop that? Thanasis at Tedekumbo, he's had some good success in the G League as Jalen Brown steps up and comes up way short. Still trying to get into a rotation in the NBA. Little Euro step, Tedekumbo on the follow. Tice frustrated, they thought they had him stopped and Big Brother is very psyched. Wanamaker blocked by Antetokounmpo. Middleton. Marcus Smart guarding him. Drives inside. No help. Lays it up and in. Tatum now switches on Antetokounmpo. Well, I'm Tatum. I'm backing up. It's a bad gamble. Drives, strides, layup is good as both guys go. Oh, they call an offensive foul. Marcus Smart steps in and draws the charge, and he is fouled out. Overturned. So, Tedekumpo stays in the game with his five Score fouls. Marcus here. Smart picks up his first personal. Yeah, he slides in after Tedekumpo has already gone into his upward motion. Middleton inside. Tedekumpo lays it up, got it, and one. Another chance for a three-point play. And Celtics won't foul, and that will do it. Milwaukee resumes their season in the NBA restart with an impressive victory. Second game for both of these teams. Milwaukee won their first one. They defeated the Boston Celtics, the Houston Rockets. Meanwhile, had a wild one in overtime, scoring 153 points to defeat the Dallas Mavericks. Chris Middleton's first shot of the night goes Chris down. For three. He has been doing that all season long. We expect a lot of points. They are the two highest scoring teams in the NBA. For most of the year, the Bucks were ahead, but after that 153 point <laughs> game the other night, it's the Rockets in front. And if Tedekumbo hits Kumbo. the three pointer, three. and if that goes down on a regular basis, it's over. PJ Tucker misfires, and Lopez with the rebound. And Tedekumpo, as Harden tries to get the charge, count the basket and the foul. He just kept playing and a chance for a three-point play. Counts. The focus and relentlessness of Antetokounmpo. Mike Budenholzer talks about it all the time. Comes up way short, comes right back to him. Foul line jumper's good. Giannis, and, and that's where the Rockets have really suffered. They have been absolutely crushed on the backboard. Westbrook dribbles into traffic and lost it. They do a great job of protecting the paint. Sterling Brown on the follow of Tedekumpo. Boy, they no oh, hesitate at all. They throw it up to threes as McLemore gets his now nine points in eight minutes off the bench. 
Middleton the fake, another fake, and lays it up and in. But if it's uh, your second best player like Middleton, I'm sure uh, Mike Budenholzer had a, a talk with him, and he knew exactly as Giannis with a blow by and layup. I think Middleton, Middleton probably knew exactly why he wasn't played. Westbrook pass deflected. And Tedekumpo first got a piece of it. Nice feed from Middleton. Kicks it out. Ilya Silva, who just checked in. His layup is good. Ursan Ilya Silva. I've seen this before. You let your guard down, thinking, okay, Harden's off the floor. This is a great opportunity for the Rockets to even extend their lead. And Tedekumpo right to the rim. He's got 15 now. Also, seven boards and four assists. The numbers he puts up night after night, the overall numbers just staggering. P.J. Tucker checks the seams and then throws up an air ball. He's going to have to shoot it. He's going to have a lot of chances. And a blocking foul call as Atetokounmpo goes and knocks down Jeff Green. Atetokounmpo goes right at Jeff Green again, kicks it out. Wesley Matthews on from downtown. Wesley That's Matthews the fourth three-pointer from Milwaukee. Harden with four steals in the game. Covington misses. DiVincenzo, they're letting him fly, DiVincenzo. Well, it's just the fifth three-pointer for the Bucks. Tedekumpo drives on Covington, and lays it up and in. That extra long stride at the end, and he's got a layup. They've got Harden guarding Lopez. Lopez just methodically finds the spot and lays it up and in. And Tedekumpo against P.J. Tucker. Drives inside, layup won't go, the tip misses, the second tip is good. Extra effort from the reigning MVP. Drives, gets bumped, shots good, and the foul. Now the Bucks have tied the game with 2.41 remaining in the third. Yeah, that's a great point, Mike, because we're truly privileged to be able to witness these guys Atatakumbo from downtown. That's his second three-pointer. He's, he's got another 30-point game. Atatakumbo, quick move. And lead back up to three. Daniel House for three. Atatakumbo with a rebound. Rebound number 17. Drives inside, lays it up and in. Now with 34. I don't think I've ever seen a team have so many quality three-point looks than the Rockets tonight. You're right. They've gotten against the best defense in basketball. They've got some good three-point looks. But you're going to, as Lopez gets another one right at the rim off a nice feed by Giannis. Hill just gets it in. And Tedekumbo makes his drive down the lane. Running layup. Lays it in with the left hand. Bucks back up by one. And that'll do it. The Rockets win their second straight here in the bubble. And they defeat the team with the best record in the NBA, the Milwaukee Bucks. Here's Lawawu Caparo off the steal all the way in, lays it home. Solid start on both ends for the Nets. What we're seeing out of Brooklyn, and I imagine we'll see more of it, double teaming of Giannis Adetokounmpo. That was too easy. And it's going to be too easy because that's where Giannis thrives. Giannis buries the three. Temple, too strong, Adetokounmpo the rebound. It's just about him being a viable threat from there because you know where his strength lies. Middleton, a good look straight on, and it's an 8-2 start for Milwaukee. Adetokounmpo, another three, and Giannis has hit his first two from deep. Giannis was left alone in the paint, laid it in, as Marvin Williams hits the corner three. Martin's three, no. And underneath, Hall and Adetokounmpo get into it. And now Giannis has to be held back after Giannis Adetokounmpo and Dante Hall got locked up underneath. Hall working, trying to box out Giannis. And you see the push off there at the end after the play and after the possession had stopped. In the corner, it's Bledsoe on a three. And this game is tied at 45 as Brooklyn will now take a timeout. And Adetokounmpo will get the bucket in the foul as he cranked 
Anderson to the ground. Five point Brooklyn lead as Giannis answers with a jam. Adebayo will take it the other way. Kelly Olenek taking the place of Butler. Knocked away by Giannis. And here comes Milwaukee. None. And this is over Bledsoe and the rebound collected by Middleton. Here comes Giannis the other way. And accelerates and drives. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. He was out of the block and blew by him with an explosive move. And got the dunk and puts the Bucks up by five. Adebayo looking inside. Lopez just knocked it away. Swats it out of the air. Picked up by Giannis. The strides, the drive, and the sledgehammer. And on full display, you see why Giannis is so difficult to, to defend. He's averaging 18 points in the paint, which is number one in the league. And that's his 140th dunk, which is only second behind Rudy Gobert. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Hill, free to fire. Inside, grab by Middleton off the bench out there with Giannis and Bledsoe and Corver on one wing. And they got Matthews on the other, squirming for two. Giannis on it to Kumbo. How about the Euro step once he got into the lane to split the two Heat defenders? Bledsoe inside, shot clock at five, and he got it up with a nice pirouette inside out of the Kumbo. Looked like Bledsoe had thrown that ball away, but... Nice job there by Giannis to recover it and finish. Oh, there's a great dunk off that baseline by Giannis. The quick move here by Giannis goes baseline, one dribble. Oh, what a beautiful poster dunk there by the MVP. Adebayo, nice defense by Lopez. Bledsoe off to Adetokounmpo. Fake drive and slam. <laughs> Second behind Gobert and dunks in the league. Again, he leads the league in points in the paint at 18. Difference of six seconds. Game clock, shot clock. The twirling out of the combo and goes inside with a jam by Connaughton. Floater, none. No, Adebayo surrounded by defenders from Milwaukee. He was in a torture chamber and lost it inside. Giannis outside. Middleton triple. Big hit right there as the Bucks Reds are looking for some momentum. Nice ball movement. Matthews open, triple, book it. By the way, Portland is uh, strengthening, aren't they, Reds? Well, at full strength. Yes. You got Nurkic back. Zach Collins. Zach Collins is back. You've moved Carmelo back to his normal position at small forward. They still, big. they still miss Rodney Hood is out. And Giannis cleans it up, puts it in. And that's a foul. Counted for two for Giannis Adetokounmpo. Oh, great spin move by Adetokounmpo. Woo, beautiful pirouette. Miami coming off a win, throwing inside none. Pick off on the play by Bledsoe. And his eyes darting around looking for Adetokounmpo. Up high and got the two with ease. Giannis doubled, is swarming him. Connaughton three. Mm. Milwaukee back by three. None, three, no. It's Hill with the rebound. Bucks lead by one. Out of the Kumbo. Spins and jams. Oh, what a play. And look, Bam has five fouls himself. So he doesn't want to put himself in arms away right here. He's looking for help. This is Crowder for two. Rebound Hill again. Collects. Another rebound. Yo, look at the spin, the drive, and a huge, huge jackhammer put in by Adam Kumbo. Nice pass. Giannis inside again. Caught it, floated, and boy, there's a sense now. The body language down for Miami. The Bucks exuberant and their biggest lead late 121 11. Doncic, great pass oh! underneath, and Hardaway finishes at the rim. Hardaway. Dallas has gotten into the paint. Usually, Milwaukee, all they give up is a lot of threes. But right now, due to Doncic's greatness, they're getting anything and everything. Curry driving, rejected by the Greek freak out of play. Eight to shoot. Porzingis to the bench. Adeta Kumbo has two points, both coming at the line, 0 for 2 from the field. It's guarded by Kleba, spins on him, gets to the rim, and lays it up and in, plus a foul.
and Doncic has to be there on the spin. We talked about Portland playing the night. Tough loss for the Blazers who are fighting to get into the play-in game. They lost to the Clippers today. Damian Lillard missed two free throws late. So unlike him. Giannis takes a shot to the midsection as he scores. Question is, did they call a foul or not? They did. About a second difference in the clocks here at Dedekumbo. Step through and slam with the left hand. Wow. Doncic just turned 21. Porzingis turned 25 less than a week ago. Here's another 25-year-old Giannis, beautifully done, spinning on the baseline against Finney Smith. Although Benny the Bull is there. I don't know if you saw earlier, but Benny the Bull and Robin Lopez uh, were having a Twitter war earlier today. So that perhaps is why Benny, the Bulls mascot, was uh, pictured there. Giannis will try the three and hit it. First triple tonight for Giannis at Dedekumbo. Now he's got to try to guard Giannis in the paint, and Adetokounmpo banks it in over him. Can I also recommend that if you go five months without wearing a suit, that you try the suit on before you pack it and, and get on the plane as Giannis slams it down? Amen. And when I see the WNBA being highlighted, I always think of the great players, women's players that played came before them as Giannis goes to the rim. And I'm always thinking of Dallas resident Nancy Lieberman, our former colleague. Well, I don't know where to begin, but he does see everything. Um, he's picked up his game in, in every area this year, and uh, you're seeing a lot of great things tonight. Giannis driving and stuffs it against Kleba. They had to be careful, didn't want to pick up that sixth foul. Here's Middleton with eight seconds to go. On the switch, Kleba's got him. George Hill, wide open. Can't knock down the three. The tip won't go. Giannis can't bat it in. And we go to overtime. But 26 points for Finney Smith. There's Giannis with the slam, and that ends the drought of about five minutes for the Bucks. Mavericks trying to get their second win since coming down to the bubble. They'll be in the playoffs for the first time in four years. A book to see Luka Doncic on the grandest stage. Fires away. It rolls out on the three. Porzingis with the hustle, but he couldn't track down the ball. Now Giannis with a head of steam. Gets past Kleba. Connaughton steps into a three. Giannis offensive rebound and the stick back. As Porzingis a cut to the rim. Catches it in the mid post and make it. 26 now for Porzingis. Don't forget ABC Sunday Showcase, Zion and the Pelicans against the Spurs tomorrow at 3 Eastern. As Giannis is fouled, he'll go back to the line where he struggled tonight, 5 of 12. He got them both. It's a two-point game. Shot clock at 7. Doncic hesitating. Draws Giannis, one to shoot. Doncic off one foot, falling out of bounds, missed the three. Bad possession. Giannis in transition, stuffs it. And it's a three-point game. Here's Lopez. Got to go. Giannis inside gets the dunk. 5.6 remaining. That took a long time, though, to develop. Yep. If he makes it, game's basically over as long as they don't foul. If he misses it, Milwaukee's got a chance. Now you just try not to foul here as Milwaukee hoists a three. Still Bledsoe drives and kicks the hill. Three is no good, and the Mavericks, who are down seven with about two minutes to go at the end of regulation, come storming back behind the brilliant play of Luka Doncic to beat the Bucks, the best team in the league, record-wise, in overtime. From the Fieldhouse on the NBA campus in Orlando, it's the first of four, our quadruple header on TNT, and the league MVP, Giannis Adetokounmpo. Will he be able to take the Bucks to their first title? since 1971 and Adetokounmpo with his first board of the game a guy that comes in averaging 30 and 14 a game the only player in the NBA to be in the top five in both points and rebounds his first look is a three and it didn't look bad three straight turnovers for Milwaukee and they were a clean team for the most part during the regular season Adetokounmpo on the spin and oh, the hammer oh my goodness yes one point lead for Milwaukee that rotation weak side not coming at all. And part of that is because of the three-point shooting, but also if you don't feel like you have a chance to get there, oftentimes guys won't make the effort, and that's what happened on that possession. Look at the three around. Good positioning. George Hill 
He found the soft spot underneath, didn't yeah, he? Did a great job of creating the space in the paint by Hill and terrific recognition there from Giannis. It'll be DJ Augustine on the flyby of the mid-range game. And you don't mind that, though. That's really good offensive execution. They are creating great looks in the half court against the number one defense in the NBA, and Corbin able to knock down that triple. He's not 39, is he? 11 to 2 run now in a, a shocking 18 point game, making 16. He's going to get his. We know that. Giannis gets the bucket. He is now 3 of 5 from the field with 7 and 5 so far on the run. Boy, they walled off Giannis, didn't they? But he made the right read there, getting it to, to Matthews. And that's that transition opportunity for the Bucks, finally showing what the one seed has been doing all season. Bolts, and he carried it. No crossover, just a carry. And it stays a 13-point game. Steve Clifford wants that called all yeah. the time. You don't <laughs> see it very often. That one may be a little more pronounced than most. But that's two straight turnovers, too. So after doing such a good job early on, they're going to get a block. You got it sliding over, picking up the blocking foul, Gary Clark. Giannis will get there and follow his own. That's Pat the stats, Moses Malone. <laughs> Giannis Adetokounmpo as he gets the three. Right back at it from 12 down to nine. Question, though, for the Magic, can they get Fournier going, who is – Struggled in the first round as did last season and obviously in that first half. Ominous beginning on the deflection points off a turnover and it's a bank and he did not call glass, did he? Yeah, but ATM is open 24 hours, <laughs> big guy. <laughs> it works. Now Dedekumbo on the spin and got what he wanted. All of a sudden, for a 10 point game at the break, it is down to a three point lead for Orlando and a timeout coming up for Steve Clifford. And how can you lose to Dedekumbo? They did. And it burns him. Gary Clark didn't track him, did he? Yeah. And you hit it on the head. I mean, if, if there's one guy you might want to account for, if you're the Magic, it's Giannis. They have great execution by the Bucks to get that easy deuce for Giannis. Yeah, nothing Fournier could do. The Magic's partnership with the FRC has been conducting a voter registration campaign with the theme, get off the bench, get in the game, and vote. Great work here, Joel and GA by the Magic and all these other teams supporting social justice causes. You're right, Jared. Really well done. Bledsoe out there with the Dedekumbo. Kyle oh, Corver gets hit and goes to the line looking for the four-point play. Jaron's Ross coming off the rub. What a pass. Middleton. A Dedekumbo, they're on the same page. Connaughton, free on the arc. Pat Connaughton's got it. So that's big. More sources coming through now. Now it's Fournier, big one. He got it. Evan Fournier couldn't buy a bucket early, and now he's got back-to-back -back triples. And, partner, you talked about it. He shot 50% from three on the regular season against this Buck team, and now all of a sudden getting back in rhythm as the Magic are in control. Bolts didn't call glass, but it's a second chance. Fournier, a triple, got it. Hard to believe, 118 to 102. They're saying they're not desperate, but certainly a time of urgency for the East number one seed, Milwaukee. Welcome everyone to NBA First Round presented by Mountain Dew. From Lake Buena Vista, Florida, game two between the Bucks and the Orlando Magic. The Magic ready for their best act ever, a disappearing act by the Bucks. Here's a Tenacumpo. Getting downhill against Fournier, wow. That is unstoppable. Giannis on the pick and pop for three. Knocks that one down. A good start from deep for him. He made three of seven in that game one loss. Connaughton from the wing. And Pat Connaughton knocks down the long ball. It's an amazing thing if you just simply keep making the right play consistently, how many good things happen. Trusting his teammates again. Connaughton again from downtown. Pat Connaughton was actually late joining the team in the bubble after testing positive for COVID-19. Giannis inside gets the second one to go after missing the alley-oop. Giannis downhill. And so Brooke Lopez hits the three. That's one of the five spots that Malika is talking about. The two deep corners, the two slot threes on top of the key. Those are the five areas. 
painted, and those are the five spots. They run, they run wide. Wundu. Connaughton with the rebound, and they got some time. Two seconds to go. Giannis, it'll count. They got the bucket with .4 to go in the first half. Giannis slams it home. Man, he extended that left arm. You know, Vucevic, like so many surprisingly NBA players, did not have access to a basketball goal during the stay-at-home order. Only his neighbors. His neighbor. <laughs> he, hey, man, if you're my neighbor, you're part of the club <laughs> by default. So he got a lot of shots up at his neighbor's driveway, and uh, Brooke Lopez with an emphatic dunk inside. Giannis with the jump hook over Kem Birch. Wow. Ross comes up short this time. What a cut and pass and finish by DiVincenzo. Beautiful basketball by the Bucks. And Giannis just waltzing through the lane for the bucket. Well, I've talked about this to you before. The, the Frank Vogel comment to me that the Lakers need Anthony Davis to make threes. It helps their spacing. But, you know, Contavious. Oh. oh, my gosh. Say it with your chest, Giannis. Put it on his head, <laughs> says Wesley Matthews Jr. Wow. Giannis Antetokounmpo has 24 points, 18 boards. And he is a terror coming at you. <laughs> Good night. I that mean, is a wonderful poster. Man. He got one of the best mean mugs in the league. Giannis downhill. Acrobatic finish around Vucevic. Budenholzer are on the sidelines yelling for a foul. Giannis has a mismatch, but they're going to wall him off. Not fast enough, though. Wow. That long, quick first step. And he finishes with a dunk. Giannis Antetokounmpo will end up with a 20-20. 28 points to go along with 20 rebounds. Only he and Kareem, or Lou Alcindor, pardon me, have done it in Bucks franchise history. So game three will be right here in a couple of days as Orlando tries to bounce back as the Milwaukee Bucks look very much like the team that ended the regular season with the best record in the NBA. Vucevic did a lot but not enough. 32 points, 10 boards. Giannis's team gets the dub today. Don't forget coming up next it's the 2020 NBA Draft Lottery. How about a little matinee edition of the NBA postseason as we welcome you back to the Fieldhouse in Orlando. The NBA playoffs first round coverage is presented by Rocket Mortgage as we reset Milwaukee and Orlando. The series nodded at a game apiece. Fultz comes out. The shot clock down to six seconds here. Where does Fultz go? He'll fire straight away. That's a long two, a little bit off to the right. And that's the part of his game, of course, still heavily in development. Adeno Gumbo right to the rack to get Milwaukee its first points. Quick answer by Yanis. So here's Kem Birch at the free throw line, third year in the league. And a very good defensive player. He'll be on Giannis right now. And he can get down and move his feet. He's going to give a great effort all the time. We see him running the floor there. Yanni's back the other way for Milwaukee. Kicks out. This is Kyle Korver, the marksman, sticking one from deep. I just wonder, like, is Kyle Korver going to be like 50, 55 years old and still running <laughs> out here making threes? Adeno Gumbo on a three point shot. Nice looking stroke by DJ Augustine. And then Adeno Gumbo at the other end. And a chance at three for the reigning league MVP. Yanni's turning back, Birch. Yannis just keeps on coming. Right now, they're just unable to keep Milwaukee away from the rim. Plus, Milwaukee's defense is stepping up. It's been the best defense in the league for two years running, and it is dominating the Orlando Magic right now. Mm. Ennis isn't going to get a much better look than that. Orlando's still down 11. Middleton. 
builds on that differential. A great play by Giannis there. Adetokounmpo sizes up Gary Clark outside. Connaughton, that's good. Connaughton had the sharp shooting game in game two. This Orlando team, as they turn it over again, Vucevic frustrated. Well, I like what Mike Budenholzer did there is Vucevic is the one guy who has the ability to really hurt the Bucks? They've decided, hey, we're just going to swarm him in the post. I thought they might try to double team him. Mike Budenholzer went a couple of steps further. They decided to quadruple team him on that last post. Yanni's on a three. That's his second three pointer of the half. And the reigning MVP, 19 points to lead all scores. And with 48 seconds left in the half, it is all books. Yanis expressing himself. So Adetokounmpo to the free throw line. He is 8 of 9 from the field. 3 of 5 at the free throw line. Fournier, dangerous pass, broken up. Bledsoe the steal. Middleton ahead of the pack. Yanis extends to the rack. So a 19-point game, Orlando... I'll give him some credit. They fought back here in the last couple of minutes. But well, still a 22-7 run. Adedo Gumbo builds on his point total. Make it 28 points. Adedo Gumbo full head of steam down the paint. That is a scary sight for a defender. 31 for the Greek National. And I like this lineup that the Bucks go to some where Giannis is essentially your center. It's amazing what the Magic have done here. Totally undermanned, getting blown out, and stay in the fight right here. Boy, Vucevic just barely getting the arm of Adetokounmpo. He'll shoot free throws. Here comes Adetokounmpo into the corner for Lopez. That's a three. As Milwaukee trying to restore order again. There comes the MVP to the basket. Nasty finish. Well, Gary Clark is actually a hard-working defender, but in his time at Cincinnati in the American Athletic Conference, Spiro, he didn't have to guard too many guys <laughs> like this going to the rim and just throwing it down. So tough one-on-one. -on -one. The reigning MVP continues to excel in the bubble as the NBA playoffs on NBA TV continue. Man, they're all brought to you by AT&T 5G, as today it is game four. It is the number one seed against the number eight seed as the Bucks take on once again the Orlando Magic. The Bucks can win this game in series without Middleton playing at his best, but I don't think they have a chance to win the East if he's not playing at a level of all-star caliber, and that's gonna be something we wanna keep an eye on as this game moves forward. Smart play. Finding a Dedekumbo with Gary Clark early. And a great job with the rim run there by Giannis and great recognition by Bledsoe to just let the big guy go up and get it. And they stay with a double. That means Wesley Matthews has to take it and called glass. <laughs> <laughs> you love wow. it. Wow. Dedekumbo helped defensively but it frees up the perimeter and Lopez gets it. Lopez was way down this year from beyond the arc. In fact, a little bit below 30%. Now, Fultz. And he created the contact, they said. As Bledsoe. The lob for Giannis. I'll tell you he what. had Matthews as a decoy on one side. Giannis floating down the lane. But he did a great job of selling it like a quarterback with his eyes. He looked off to his right to force the defense to commit. Patient enough to wait to get that lob up. And when you got a guy like Giannis, you just got to get it up anywhere near the basket. Giannis got it before they say it hit the window. And another turnover. Yeah. And again, a forced one, un unforced, I should say. All he had to do, Ross there, just swing it. They had Milwaukee scrambling there. You want to keep it close to keep your confidence, and there's a breakdown there. Too easy out high. Yeah. Well, you know what? The advantage you had, Corver and DiVincenzo on that side of the floor and the help just not coming. Donna skips it in the corner to Lopez. Brooke Lopez with another three. Donna on the drive, swooping around Clark and laying it in. Donna, long arm finger roll. Vucevic was right there, but... Giannis able to slip it around. Squeezing through is Adena Kumbo and banking it in. What a first half for Vucevic. Scoring, rebounding, assisting. 
Nikola Vucevic doing it all for the Magic. And assist number, David. We talked about it. He's been averaging about two and a half assists per game. He's got five in the first half to go along with his 16 points. Well, that's not a good start to the second half for the Magic. Adetta Kumbo firing it cross court to Matthews. He has the hot hand today, and that is his fourth three-pointer of the game. And they're just going the other way so quickly, and another offensive rebound. This time it leads to a three-pointer. And Adetta Kumbo catches it on the run from Middleton. Adetta Kumbo stepping through the middle, shoves it home over Vucevic. Wow. Who else in this league can make that play? I, I don't know if there is anybody else, David. I mean. That is so strong. Gary Clark cut off his initial drive. Did not knock him off balance. The block on Middleton. Giannis gets it a perfect pass for Connaughton. And a lead once again for Milwaukee after Orlando had their first lead since early in the second quarter. Yeah, loose ball there, 50-50 ball. And the Bucks win that battle and end up with the deuce. And look out, Adetokumbo. And that's that live ball turnover there by the Magic. Lades out to that easy opportunity for the Bucks in transition. Corver, good guy to look and find. Final shot coming up for Adetta Kumbo and Milwaukee. And getting everything they want from Orlando in game four of this series. Let's see if they run somebody at him. Oh, he takes the three. I tell you, he was due. He hadn't made one in a while and able to knock that one down. What's it going to take defensively to make sure you don't allow him any more runs here? Yeah, same thing. Fast break point. Don't let him get in the bonus early. We've got to make sure we got to get our coverages cleaner and their different combinations of high pick and rolls. That's what's hurting us. You cleaned up your turnovers a little bit. Mark Paul Fultz was great in that third quarter. You said if you can get some range from him, that really helps your team offensively. What's it going to take? It helped the pace, and I thought his defense was terrific. And will they be able to keep this guy out of the paint? Nope. He's only got one bucket outside of the paint. It was the three-pointer at the end of the third. Russ way strong. So Dedekumbo up to 25 and 10 with seven assists. Triple-double territory already. Came in averaging 31 and 16. And there's Chris Middleton. That is huge for down the road. And that's another triple there. Corver has one as well. Giannis in the paint. And Dedekumbo's up to 27 and 12 with eight assists. So close to another triple-double for the MVP. Hard to believe he's only 25 years old. Unbelievable. <laughs> Mid-range. Giannis just inside the three-point line. Middleton in time. And an extra possession. Good alert play by Giannis at that Akumbo. Just, you know, you can game plan and scheme against Giannis, but there's nothing to take into account for his athleticism. As you yeah. see, he's just so freakishly talented and competes so incredibly hard. Time for the Orlando Magic and the Milwaukee Bucks in this NBA first round on ESPN. It's game five, best of seven series, and it's presented by Mountain Dew from the ESPN Wild World of Sports Complex in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. The Bucks lead it three games to one. Fournier stripped by Matthews. Matthews has played some terrific defense on Fournier in this series. Atenacumbo, the quick burst. Yunus onto the Kumbo. When he has it in transition, you have to get your whole body in front. Terrific right to left crossover. He covers so much ground. Giannis gets a second shot and lays it in. They go inside, and an easy entry pass. Giannis. And a beautiful one from Kumbo. Bledsoe. Right on target. It's a five point Bucks lead. And a blocking foul called on Birch. First of all, how to register, how to help other people register, the importance of not only you voting, but getting your friends to vote. Uh, and then also, not just, not just national voting, local leaders, uh, state leaders, so that we're all more educated on who we're voting for and why. And on the court today, turnovers are hurting you early here. What do you need to do to take care of the ball we a gotta little be better? More, we got to be better, which is one of our big strengths. And in this series, it's been up a lot to their defense, but we can't have six turnovers a quarter. Atetokounmpo with his three-pointer, his first three. Bledsoe finds Middleton. Middleton inside for an easy slam. And the foul. Nice setup from Middleton. And Tedekumpo with a chance for the three-point play. Ross picks up his first. As you see, he got hit in the head. Already 13 points and eight rebounds in just 11 minutes. 
Pettigrumbo, step back elbow jumper is good. 16 points already. The lead back up to eight. Pettigrumbo. Oh! All of a sudden he just rises up and uses the left hand to throw it down. He's at the three-point line. One dribble to a left-handed dunk. You can't try to help at the rim. You've got to help if you're Vucevic right there with your whole body. And Clark has to do a better job of keeping him in front. There's that length that John Hammond saw in that practice that day in Athens. Let's go. Lot alley up to Antetokounmpo. And the lead is 14 largest of the first half. Fournier drives and can't finish. Vucevic draws the foul on the foul. Got the offensive rebound. And he'll take his first free throws here in the first half. Middleton throws it up. And it's just so difficult when he gets position. Well, it was a great read by Middleton. He popped to the strong side corner, saw the switch, knew that Giannis had a small on him and just threw it up. Pass back out Corver. That quick release from Corver gets the bounce, goes through, and that's 10 three pointers here in the first half for Milwaukee. And this is the largest lead of the game thus far. Tedekumbo with his now 13th rebound of the game already. And he punctures your defense to create great shots for others as he hits the corner three. And I rarely see him take the three from the corner. His threes are usually above the break. Bledsoe looking for a screen. Lopez sets a bunch of them. Matthews in the corner, now off the dribble. Williams a three-pointer. That's good. Marvin Williams, four for four from downtown. Two big threes and a lead back up to 11. After Orlando had cut it to three. Now some breathing room for Milwaukee as we have three minutes remaining. Atetokounmpo against Fournier. Well defended. Then it gets a pass. Nice feed Bledsoe. from Atetokounmpo and Bledsoe the finish. And that puts it back Fournier. up to 13. Williams, Hill, Atetokounmpo, three-pointer. Puts it in. There's the finishing touches. That makes it a 14-point lead. And he's got 28 and 16 here this afternoon. 28 points in 27 minutes. Great extra pass right there. Very big piece of news coming down just a couple of minutes ago. Eric Bledsoe, Bucks starting point guard, a late scratch, a right hamstring strain, so he is inactive tonight. That means that George Hill, who has started three games this season, will start. Frank Mason has been activated by Mike Budenholzer, and a stand that has to loom large here, at least in the opening game of the series. Robinson tied for third in the league in May threes, fourth best in accuracy. Just an incredible... Second season that he had. That is Adedo Kumbo. Well, the Bucks fourth in the league in threes made. The Heat sixth, but second in three-point percentage. That's going to be a big part of this series. Who shoots it better from three? Yannis from deep. And suddenly it's raining down jumpers at both ends. Butler turned back by Adedo Kumbo. That is that all-league defense as Middleton fills up a three. Look at this defense by the league MVP. Butler left it a little bit short. Rebound by Adeta Bumbo. Here he comes up the floor, weaving through traffic, and steps in with his left hand. He's virtually unstoppable in transition. When he gets you backing up on your heels, you can't defend him with one guy. You've got to get your whole team, basically, to build a wall and get in front of him. Carver spots up transition. Three splash. Well, again, that's Giannis. He's pushing the ball. And so that time, Iguodala's off to build that wall to keep him from getting to the rim. But you don't have time to get back to Kyle Korver, one of the great all-time three-point shooters in this league. About the three-point stroke of Chris Middleton. He's three of three from deep. 13 points to lead the Bucks. Yeah, he puts it on the deck. Double team out to Lopez. That's a three. Got it. There's that the Kumbo in the open floor. Sizes up on a bio. Fires a three and sticks it. Second three of the night for the reigning MVP. He's got a dozen. As Yanis extends with those endlessly long arms. He's got 14 points. First lead for Miami since they were up 12 to 10 at the nine minute mark of the opening quarter. Kyle Carver answers and we're tied again. Carver trying to find some daylight. Squares up on a three. It's good. Second triple for Carver. One point game. Corver on a three, got it! 
three-point marksman. Giannis again on the take, banks it in. Boy, he had to improvise. He's got 18 points. Milwaukee back in front. That's Middleton from the corner. Miami down by as many as 11. And Milwaukee will lose game one for a second straight series. 115-104, your final. Miami the five seed. And Milwaukee for the second straight year, the number one seed. Here's Lopez from the corner. And that's usually money. He's gotten really good at those corner threes. Deep three, Robinson. Almost. He was about eight feet behind the three-point line. Here's Giannis, Lopez again from the corner, knocks down another three, and he's fouled again, this time by Adebayo. Here's Olenek, not that time, and Giannis able to get control of it. Milwaukee had 40 points in the first quarter of game one, struggled offensively after that as Giannis is finally on the board. Yeah, if you, if you don't impede his progress a little bit sooner than that, it's going to be trouble. He'll keeps it, now dumps it down low. Adetokounmpo rises and smashes it. One of the ways they try to get Giannis the basketball, put him in pick and roll, make him the screener. Dragic over Lopez, can't get it. The Bucks have time. Giannis, what a pass to Hill. Beautiful look as Giannis hung in the air. Here's Butler, projected by the Greek Freak. Giannis working on Iguodala. Gets deep in the lane and then throws it down. But, so one defensive possession where everybody controlled the ball for Milwaukee. And then you play with force on the offensive end. Really good sequence. One end to the other by Milwaukee. As Adetta Kumbo slams it after corralling the loose ball. That's massive. So he's back on the floor where he might have stepped off with the four and immediately puts two on the board. As Adetta Kumbo scores inside. <laughs> that is just bully ball. Poor Duncan Robinson ended up the lone defender underneath the hoop. Robinson, air ball. Here comes Giannis with a head of steam, driving it. Bam! Eurostep uh, just goes right by you. Adetokounmpo has not taken a lot of jumpers tonight. He drives on Jones and finishes with the left hand. He's got 20 points. I'll tell you what, there's times where it looks like he's got no balance. And how he's able to gather and get himself back on balance to make those, it's really something to see. Bledsoe, no, got it back, kicks it out. Hill gives it up. Middleton, off target, Giannis is put back, goes. Here's Olenek for three. Good! Kelly Olenek again from outside his third triple. Butler is fouled. He has not scored in the second half. Only attempted one shot. Will the Heat be up 2-0? They have an eight-point lead over Milwaukee. 3.32 to go. Dragic falling away. Can't bank it in. Adetokounmpo with his 14th rebound. Gets it ahead to Middleton. Middleton able to take it all the way, and he couldn't get the layup. Shot clock at three, Dragic stops, pops, offensive foul is called here, no basket. Who's going to be the guy for Milwaukee down the stretch in the fourth quarter? Of these close games here in the playoffs. Bledsoe missed, Lopez got it back, and that's over the top of the backboard. Neither Middleton nor Giannis a factor on that possession. Loose ball, Butler cleans it up, drives in the lane, gets it out to Hero, bombs away. No good on the three. Lopez is called for the foul against Adebayo, and that will put Adebayo at the line as Milwaukee is over the foul limit now. He is seven for seven at the foul line. Giannis hand fighting with Crowder. Here comes the double team. Adetokounmpo is fouled. Got them both. Seven point Miami lead. Adebayo with the shot clock down to seven, gives it up to Hero. Hero gets Middleton off his feet. Can't score though. Bledsoe the rebound. Milwaukee looking to push it here. Giannis drives on two members of the Heat, and it rolls in, plus a foul. Three-point chance for the Greek Freak. Shot clock at five. Adebayo sees it. Timers at three. Adebayo's jumper is good. Wow. Back to a six-point advantage. Now Giannis on the cut. Missed the dunk, but he was fouled, and Adebayo's gone. That's his sixth foul. He missed both. And Crowder with an excellent block out. Here's Hill. Middleton feeds Giannis for the dunk, so they go for the two. It's a four-point game. They don't get the steal. They got a foul immediately, and they want Dragic to inbound. 
to Butler. And they haven't found him just yet. Butler throws it under his own basket. Lopez has it and scores. And it's a two-point game with 8.5 to go. They decided not to foul, and it worked out. Dragic throws it up, and it's caught by Butler in traffic, and he's fouled. He got the second one. It's a three-point game, and Mike Budenholzer will use his final timeout. Hill finds Korver, gives it up to Middleton, launches a three, and he's fouled! Here's another look at it. He closes the space. Does he move in there to the shooter, though? Does he move do, in do at all with his body? Do you think he's moving it? Do you, does he look like Boy, he's maybe moving a little bit. Okay. Maybe a little bit. Okay. Close enough, obviously, for them to call it. Middleton got the next one. Miami has a timeout left, and Eric Spolstra will use it. We are tied at 114. All right, 4.3. Miami inbounds. Here's Butler with three. Butler with two. With one. Butler against Matthews. Gets it away. And no good. Do we have a foul? We do. A foul is called. And Jimmy Butler can win it at the line. Where, where's the foul there? Where, where? The Bucks use their challenge already. They get Giannis for the foul. Let's see the left hand here. Does he... Oh, he makes puts contact the, put, there, puts it on the, the body of the shooter, Jimmy Butler. Instant replay confirms the on-floor decision. The shot was released prior to expiration of the period. The legal contact happened, happened afterwards. We'll put double zeros on the clock, and they'll shoot their two free throws with no lineup on the floor, okay? With no lineup, no wow. players, okay? no lineup. He got it! <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> so this is just for the scoring here, but Miami... Up 2 nothing in the series. Wow. After blowing the lead. Mm. And Milwaukee tying the game with three free throws by Chris Middleton. Jimmy Butler is fouled at the buzzer by Giannis Adetokounmpo. Makes the winning free throw. And the Heat take a 2 nothing lead over the team with the best record in the NBA. No team in the NBA playoffs has ever come back from a 3-0 deficit. And now, the number one team all season with the reigning MVP are face-to-face -face with that possibility. It's an important game three from Orlando in the Eastern Conference semifinals as the fifth-seeded Miami Heat take on the number one-seeded Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks, the top regular season record for a second consecutive season in the NBA. Now you got Jimmy Butler switched out on to Giannis. Bledsoe with traffic put up and in by Giannis onto the Kumbo. And what I like about that is Bledsoe created that double. Even though he missed the shot, it allowed Giannis to get that offensive rebound. Crowder, three, no. That's got to be one more extra pass to Duncan Robinson on your left. Long three. Middleton, good boy, is he shooting well to start things. Three of three with a long shot from outside. Giannis enters tonight 44th in playoff minutes per game at 33 a clip. How many does he need to play tonight? I say he needs to play 38 to 42. Obviously, it depends on the temperature of the game, but you hold them back all season long for moments like this. So that's why during the regular season he's playing 34 to 36 minutes. Come playoff time, that's supposed to increase. Turnover Miami, Lopez a triple right down the hatch for the Bucks. They're daring him. Yeah, Jimmy Butler was daring him. Little bump, ball jarred free. Giannis finishes off nicely. Even Jens, one of the top defenders on this team. Hero goes by him. Progic outside, shot clock at three, over Hill, good! They are absolutely draining it from three. Seven of 15 in this first quarter for the Heat. Here's Hill from 15, rattles one in. And he's the number one three-point percentage shooter in the league. Right back to Giannis. Plutso takes him from three. Missed both free throws. You don't secure the offense or the defensive rebound, and it leads to a three-point shot. Out of the Kumbo, seven points. Eight rebounds, four assists. Hero is there, they switch and Crowder's on him. Chiseling, feeding Lopez. Boy, he's had a nice game. He's had a nice series. 12-3 run Milwaukee. Crowder, Duncan Robinson, three off balance. And onto DeCumbo with the rebound and he'll glide the other way. Giannis only seven points. Isn't that right? something? Averaging 29, Lopez, long shot is in. He continues to shoot well 
16 for Lopez. Oh, he spins inside, and only he can do that. Beautiful play. Giannis onto the Kumbo. Little more than four minutes gone here in the third quarter. Onto the Kumbo, charging inside mm -hmm. for the deuce. Thank you. Go back to your strength. Stop settling for threes. Bucks by six. They've led by ten. Miami came back and really now they're trying to stop mm. the spinning onto the Kumbo, and that's going to be a tough chore. See how quick that move was, too? Screen out of bio. And chiseling inside Hero. Ball was blocked. Here comes Giannis. Crying to uh, get that ball inside and does. It goes to Middleton. 6-0 spurred after that timeout. A nice pass out of bio inside. Rejected by onto the Kumbo. Here he comes. Boy, he's in another gear now. Willing his way to the hole. With a sequence of moves to find room. Giannis Crowder is there. Out to the Kumbo. Knifing in. Lunged foul to the line. And that is why he is so unguardable. When he catches the ball at the free throw line. Nice high screen. Hero the triple. Giannis is there with the rebound. Number 12 with his 17 points. Outside DiVincenzo. Oh, slips free. Up and in. Nice play. Dante DiVincenzo. You mentioned it before. So, oh, look oh, at the pass oh, to Giannis. Oh, oh. He's like Elastic Man with those telescopic arms. DiVincenzo. Out to the Kumbo. Dancing. Oh, what a feed. What a feed by Giannis. Great cut by DiVincenzo. And here's the problem that Eric Spolstra and I was alluding to when he catches it at the free throw line. And now you have shooters on the edges, too. So if you help. You're giving up this. Hero tees one up. Long picked up by Andre Iguodala. Robinson, he'll throw one up. No, Long. And if it's a rebound by Ante the Kumbo, who's going down Hill and jams it in and grimaces he's again. Hurt. He's injured. That's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. The Miami Heat have just ripped the heart right out of the top team in the NBA, Milwaukee. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. They destroyed them in the fourth quarter and win it 115 to 100. The Milwaukee Bucks looking to keep their season alive against the Miami Heat in game four of this NBA conference semifinal here on ABC. And it's presented by Wells Fargo. Once again, we're at the Advent Health Arena on the Walt Disney World Resort here in Lake Buena Vista. They say down here, the saying is, where magic happens. Well, the Milwaukee Bucks will need some magic to get themselves out of this 0-3 hole, and they'll need that man to lead them. Butler using an out-of-bio screen. Now gets into the paint, and jumper's good. They went under the screen. Butler got deep in the lane, jump stop, pivoted away, and made the mid-ranger. That stop and pivot is so important to have. And that move by Adetokounmpo is so important to have for the Milwaukee Bucks. Again, he looks pretty nimble out there and gets his first points of the afternoon. Alley-oop, Adetokounmpo comes down and misses it. Gets his own rebound, goes back up and makes sure that one goes down. Adetokounmpo, the spin against Crowder, gets inside another layup. He thought he got hit as well. Good aggressive quickness from Adetokounmpo. Dedekumpo, and you see the Heat players swarming around him, but still sidesteps. Beautiful move from Giannis, and he lays it up and in. Lopez throws it in, and Dedekumpo throws it down. He's got 11 points, 11 of their 17. Three-pointer. That's good. He had missed 11 consecutive threes in this series, but knocks that one down, and it's a six-point game. Bud, your offensive bread and butter is hitting outside shots to create space for Giannis in the paint. You're just one of eight from three. What needs to change? We need to make a few of them. You know, some of them, uh, you know, we're getting good uh, uncontested looks. We got to make more of those. We might have to make a couple tough ones. We got to make some shots, but I like the way the group's competing. Mike. All right, Malika. As mentioned, what Malika said, they're one of nine from three. Ironically, the one three-pointer came from Atatakupo, who gathers and puts it back up and in after he lost it. He's been dominant. Eight of ten from the field. He's got 18 points. There's none trying to find room. Goes up top. Tyler Hero shot blocked by Atetokounmpo. The NBA's Defensive Player of the Year with his first rejection and a 24-second violation. Bledsoe finds Atetokounmpo. Layup won't go, but a foul. 
And his, and his ankle, he's grabbing. And he's grabbing that left ankle. The right ankle is what he hurt. He's actually grabbing the right ankle, Mike. Off to such a sensational start. And you see the entire Bucks team now wanting to walk over and check on him. It just he just didn't plant it cleanly. He didn't step on Igadala's foot. It just was a, a rough plant. And obviously he's in some real pain. We'll be right back. Giannis Antetokounmpo limping heavily when he went back to the Bucks bench, but then came out to shoot the free throws because if he did not shoot these free throws because of the injury, he would not be allowed to return to the game. The only time that happens is if you get hurt in an unsportsmanlike act or a flagrant two foul. Here's what happened. Watch the plant. He did bump with Iguodala's foot, and you heard him scream. But he's out there to shoot the free throws. Whether they keep him in now or bring him back and give him treatment, we'll certainly find out. To me, you foul right away, and you get him out of the ball game. And that's exactly what they do. So there's 10-17 remaining here in the second. Bucks are only down by one. He's been sensational here to start this game four. And no doubt they'll give him some treatment now. He's walking much better already. That turn of the ankle was certainly not as severe as the one that happened in game three, but clearly the ankle is so tender from that initial time that he injured it. 